All right, we're back for another consummate opinion. Tonight, uh, I'm fucking pissed to start the night, but that's not a big deal. We'll talk about that and what's new with you. Start off the show Uh, with an F-bomb. That's how we do things. Yeah, I I mean, we're allowed. Still, we're still allowed. It's It's a free country. It is. Uh, All right, so uh, Liege, if you will, is here. Just so you Um, know, his name is Joyce. No, it's Liege. Uh, McBride's here. The intern's here. Grimace is back. Say what's up. What's up? Uh, and we have two new special guests. Yeah, two new special guests here. We One of them is a little more special than the other. Mm. What do you mean by special, though? <laughs> Education. Okay, I got you. Um, I should pass the mic to Fee then. Yeah, yeah. The, so we so we have Fee the more special who's here. Say and hi, we have, Fee. Hi. And we have Justin Velarde from the uh, band Paint the Town Red. Yeah, hello, hello. Thank you so much for having me in your wonderful home. It's a nice place. All right, it was good having you. Hope you can come back. Ah. I would yeah, like if we start on time, right? <laughs> well, I, listen, I don't want to be a jerk. Now that I'm 12 but years seriously, it was crazy. Long time. Yeah. Long time. It no, was a long time. No it wasn't by choice. But it also... It was I, by Joyce. Right. But also, I was oh like... I was also a half hour early. You were we a drove half hour some early. From yeah, downtown St. Pete. You know, we drove from St. Pete. So, uh, so it wasn't the end of the world yet. But I'm going to hear about it the whole way home. It was the first book. In the ch- it was the first chapter in the book of... Revelations. Yeah. It wasn't like the yeah. end with the dragon. He tank. breatheth air into the nostrils, and it was good. And <laughs> the Velardius doth show up too early do on it, the night where they are too do late. Doeth what you want with your timeth. <laughs> yeah, right, I don't so know if it says that. We'll, we'll start with what's new with you, uh, Justin. You can go ahead. Obviously, wow. everything. Wow. Yeah, oh, everything, because yeah. it's your first time. Oh, well, Actually, well, hold on, hold on. Anytime it's someone's first time on the show, oh, yeah, they have to it? touch the electric tennis racket. Oh, we forgot about oh, that. My God. So I think while you're there. doing what's yeah, new with you. Yeah, is it like the mosquito thing? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. mosquito yeah. deal. Well, right, I'll do it. Hey, I'm so you got to touch it. I'm going to keep swap. talking. Hit it. yeah. It's, it's while on? you're talking. Like, you can't do it while, like, you well, can't do it I only got one hand, so can you turn it on? How about you just hold it on? To get that mic in there. No, the mic is going right there. No homo. How about you hold it, and then I'll just touch it real quick. You got to be in the middle. Go ahead. It's during monologue, Justin. So, <laughs> finger, finger. 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 finger, my finger. I can't just fist nope. bump it. No, you gotta oh, you, this is like not. Deal. That's gonna be serious. Hard, <laughs> this is not like a not prostitute. Not for this fucking hand. You don't one, get two, three, fist, and go. What's you new with you? There you go. There you go. Start. Start talking. One, two, three, go. All right, I'm trying to go. No, something's gonna happen immediately. All right, one, two, three, and God, I'm being such a puss. Hold on, let me just do it right there. Just do it. Just do it. You gotta, you gotta stick it in there. I can't just stick put my it fist in there? there? No. It's really, I don't want to get shocked. Not, Justin, don't be pussy shock yourself. That's retarded. It seems it. completely it's counterintuitive it's a, it's a to every part of my being. Intern did it Everybody on a nipple. Everybody has to do this. You couldn't have put this intern in an email. Intern did do it on a nipple. I didn't get this in. What? Yeah. Why? Oh, it's God. Not, uh, part well, dude, of a but game. She's the, we're in Pasco part of a County. Game. They don't, the girls aren't, yeah, it was part they don't know better. They're smarter than a Hooter real quick. All right, fucking A. All right. So do I have to double tap it or just straight in there? You got to go straight in Can I do a knuckle? Nope. Can I do a knuckle? I'm going to go knuckle. You got to get it in between the bars. Oh boy! Get All right, in here there. Come, here it come, boy. Get in there. Hard. Come on, Mister Tally Man, Tally. Uh, you know, you got to get in between Finger. the little. Ah! Th- there you okay. go. Oh, yeah. All right. See, it's not that bad. Okay. It wasn't you know, really. Honestly, I built it up. I've said this before. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. The worst but thing about the racket is feel the good, anticipation. It's, yeah, it's all about the anticipation. It was. And tennis. Oh, tennis racket. See what he did there. See what he did there. I'm very punny. All right, so what's new with me? So, uh, well, you invited me on the show last week. That's yeah. Tuesday. That's old. My birthday was the Wednesday. That's old. So we flew out to uh, Michigan to go visit uh, Fee's family in Holly, Michigan, which is north of Detroit, about an hour and a half-ish. Closest right? to Flint. Right? And uh, her, her brother was getting married, and, and so we went up there. I spent my birthday building a deck. I, 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 bu- I spent my birthday... Fi- uh, uh, yeah, filming, uh, building a deck with her father. First time I met her dad, and um, and uh, yeah, How it was, was that? it was an intro. Well, here's How the thing: the first the time you meet him, well, you know, my dad is meet very like my dad is very that way. When he meets like I have two sisters, so it's my a dad ritual. Is very much like you meet them, you put them to work. If they so got good work, she won't starve, kind of a thing. So I I worked as best like as I could. Like shed in the backyard. No, no, no. no like it, it was a dishes. deck. Now here's the whole thing. I don't want to lie. We we built the whole. I didn't build the whole deck. We just okay. did the siding. Her her brother, who is very, I gotta say, handy. 
only said about 20 words to me the entire time we were there, but he was very, 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 very uh, handy. He had painted the entire house. He had built this whole, most of the deck. He had painted the whole thing. I mean, so anyway, so I, we fly in and, and uh, we, we spend this time in, in, uh, in Holly, Michigan, which was wonderful. And I just got back on. It was a horse farm and the wedding was like a honey boo boo wedding. There was Yeehaw. like eight dogs running around. Honey, boo boo, really? Totally. I didn't want to say it, dude. I have pictures totally, to back it up. It's okay, you can see it because it <laughs> really can, was. I didn't want to do shit. We can post some of those pictures on the page. We yeah. could. Well, good, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. oh no, the, the Listen, pictures are just so random things. Yeah, honey, like, boo boo wedding. My brothers in laws, when you talk to them, Great they event. don't talk back. They just smile at you, like smile, non smile, smile, non smile. I'm pretty Hi, sure. How are you? Yeah. Smile. I think that yeah. might be a defense mechanism. It's really weird. Really no, I think it might have been her brother got uh, her her uh, sister in law's brother got kicked Total in the head by a horse. Wedding, so there was lack no of chairs. understanding, yeah. and no chairs, all abilities. hay barrels. Yeah, we said that the aisles of the wedding were on hay barrels for sure. So no, so there actually was a guy named thing. Anthony. So they was in Pasco County, Red Northern, you know, America. Let me get this one out real quick. So they weren't pews; they were pus. <laughs> oh. oh, all right. See what I did there. Clever devil. He is a clever devil. I know it's still what's new with you, but we can make this a double deal here. Okay. And I think Fisha touches too. Joyce is into double deals. Well, from what well I no hear. homo, but yeah. Well, you are first time on the show, Fee. If you're going to be on the show, you yeah. got to come. It's not a big it. deal. It's just an electric tennis racket. Oh yeah, the same girl that said I was a big old poo yeah, Let's fine. see what happens. Yeah, let's, uh, oh, yeah okay, it's fine. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, All you right, might as well go it. next. Anything new with yeah. you here? Let's, uh, let's get a little mic up to the deal. You. What? I you just got to touch the inside. Yeah. You want to? going to burn my nail. Just like Justin. No, I won't burn your nail. Just like Justin, you want to talk to it and then put your finger inside of it. No, put yeah, no, put your finger inside. Inside, not on the outside. See the bars? Oh, wow, like a champ. That wasn't too bad. Wow, I guess they... It's the anticipation. <laughs> well, she is from Motor City, where they build all the cars. You motor! So did I miss you? Did you touch it? I did it. Oh, okay. Yeah, did. Like, it's really like, uh, interesting how you touch it, though. Like, sometimes it hurts more than other times. It depends. Well, like, it on is, the nipple, for no, example, no, 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 it hurts no. real bad. It is random. <laughs> yeah. We have yeah. had smoking fingers when it smells yeah. like rotten burnt chicken in here. Like Yeah, but it's probably, judging by the, the, the crowd here, it's probably because there's, like, barbecue grease or some sort of... Uh, Actually, I think sh- some sort of uh, flammable. My <laughs> finger smoked. Okay, yours might have been shows. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's weird. Uh, Show anyways. smokes pole primarily. From oh wow, right. four inch pole, four inches solid. At yeah. a time, though. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so just sum up real quick. New, new with me. So I, I have a job. We just moved offices to downtown St. Pete. I'm gonna, I just got the title today of associate producer. Congratulations. Ooh. Right on. Thank yeah. you. There was, it was not a promotion of money, unfortunately, but. Um, <laughs> Promotion job title, it but not money. It didn't yeah. produce any more funds? Nope. It didn't associately oh, produce <laughs> any more funds. But the hope is that it will. And, uh, I, yeah, I work for we, – we, uh, we produce and direct and film uh, infomercials from beginning to end, for, uh, you know, and all that stuff. So I don't care good. what it is. I want to buy it. Right. So, so like, uh, so my boss directly, if you if you know who Billy Mays is, yeah, I know. Was. My boss is directly was. responsible for who Billy Mays used to could be. What? Well, so then the other guy, his uh, his main Sully. sidekick, Sully. So yeah. Sully is a local guy too, and he's our, our direct uh, one one of many direct competitions here locally in the Tampa Bay area. Okay, yeah. I got you. Yep. So that's yeah, what's new with me. Yeah, you things. And yeah, I turned thirty two, and uh, and that's new with me. What's new with you, Fee? Thirty two. Um, nothing like much. four years ago for you. No, everything that's uh, new with you. We've had some adventures. You've been doing some the ShamWow misadventures. Thing. And what is it, the Kaboom? Or what do you say? ShamWow! Kaboom, baby. No, we didn't do, uh, but I wasn't part of the company when we did Kaboom and ShamWow. Have you met Vince? No, I thought you were. Uh, you weren't the prostitute? No. He, was in, he lives in Miami now. He's doing so, I don't know. I don't, I've never met him. <laughs> no, I met Sully, though. He's nice got guy. that wonky eye. I look forward to, like, talking to him. <laughs> Well, no, Felicia's got a lot new going on. You just got a new job. You just put in your two weeks today at your other job. Yeah, I just put my two weeks in at a a job. I was working at a British pub, which was very awesome. Which one? Um, It was called the Horse and Jockey. All right. (laughs) Sounds interesting. It's straight up British, though. Kind of. Dirty. The only, the only British pub. It's not like Flanagan's. It's not like Flanagan's or Cricketers, where they're kind. Yeah, Cricketers. Cricketers. That's the only place I know. Well, there are a couple Brits at Cricketers. This is owned Liverpool by Brits. Pub. Liverpool pub. Yeah, but but uh, horse and jockey is oh, so owned rough. by Brits. Sorry, guys. So rough. So the yeah. kind of place you don't really want to go. <laughs> no, it's awesome. <laughs> no, it's owned really by cool. Brits. Yeah, they're really cool. So it's the horse and jockey. They have a cool telephone booth. The whole authentic feel. It's awesome. The only ones who have bad teeth. No, great teeth. I don't. I don't buy it then. Yeah, it's good. It's <laughs> his hands are He's meditating. Grim, yeah, Grim, Grimace has a solid uh, triangle Dance. going on down there. 
Pink, <laughs> pink triangle, I think. No, pink triangle. I'm listening intently. He's listening intently, he said. He Got anything new? Say. Anything else? Um, uh, no. Uh, might be moving to Riverview. Oh, wow. It's wow, even going, farther south. Nothing going on out there. No, no, no. Maybe. Close to uh, Gibsonton, so you, you, you'd be by Carney's. Ooh, yeah, just moving, moving together. together. Oh, so you guys First might be time. kicking oh. it up a notch. We with might oh. be creating oh. our own oh. Honey Boo Boo family. So, yeah. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't hear that. What happened? Sham Wow. Oh, Sham Wow. All right, my perfect. My kids will not be Honey Boo Boo kids. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never. I will kill my kids. I'll be that. You'll hear about me, and I'll make sure. Oh, no, no. We got Pasco plenty of yeah, stories you, about that. In. You will be oh, Florida man Pasco that we talk community. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, trust predicted me. of yeah. people oh, yeah. in this county. Yeah. yeah, but moving in together, good stuff. It will be good stuff. It will be fun. Yeah. I like pranking. I prank Justin a lot. He doesn't want to admit it. I run on his face, or I hide around corners. He gets scared. Don't you know let what's him What's really cool is oh, no, the I, whole, I believe uh, like that. the butter on the floor. Yes, have I you did you seen the those on YouTube? I That's did the amazing. Butter on those the are brutal. And I did the but I didn't fall for that one. No, you went literally. So <laughs> jokes on her. I see what did you see what I did there? <laughs> but I didn't get that. And then she comes in and she goes, "Didn't you notice the butter on the refrigerator?" I was like, "No, son, I didn't touch that fridge." I drink maple syrup, everything. Yeah, but she did. She did. She she likes to pop out of corners a lot. On your website of him. Yeah. Face drawn all on. It's good. Yeah, she, I went to sleep very soundly in her bed because I thought we were lovers, and I woke up the next day, and there were there was just red that wouldn't come off, and I had a shoot. I had to go to a, a production, you know, like a That's real, awesome. like a real, real boy, job. Oh boy. <laughs> so I had to go to a real job, uh, not just not putting it down, but not to a fucking horse and jockey. <laughs> and so, horse and jockey. And died. I had red all over my face, and I called her, and I was like, "Are you kidding me, man?" Like. I was like, what is this, all this red on this face? And then she proceeded to send pictures and where there was a heart. Apparently, I fell asleep, uh, and she Sharpie. had taken freaking qua- you know, frequent cat naps the whole day. So she was wired all day. And, uh, and yeah, she just destroyed my face. You're lucky she didn't do nail polish on the fingers and toes and all that stuff. No, that would have been all right. Lipstick and all that. Yeah, that would have been fine. Oh. Yeah, that wasn't a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That would have been fine. Pink, usually, right? Pink? It's like Eddie is art, you know? I got gotcha. you. No hey, homo. We don't do anything fun like that. Maybe I should start... Drawing on your face. Oh, and way to go! To fuck up your I day. don't fall asleep first, so just thus on you. ends the short you engagement of we went Joyce <laughs> and the intern. Uh, liege, but that's fine. Liege. Joyce, we went to the beach once, and he slept the entire way I drove home. Yeah, because I got hammered at Tropics. What I had expect? just as right. much as you did. It's a legitimate. Oh, and he was out. Authorities, if you're listening, out. what was the date? Check the cameras. Nobody remembers. <laughs> I just want to say something. I'm not putting you down because I'm also putting myself down. No, I think you eating West Shore Pizza and working at West Shore Pizza gave us the same hairline. Oh, yeah. We am I wrong or am I right? Yeah. Do we have the totally. same hairline? Yeah. Oh, I think yeah. it was something about West Shore Pizza. <laughs> no, it's, it's a stressful job. You know, having to <laughs> Whatever, pay delivery and driver. Out, <laughs> having to find new and ingenious ways of displaying your testicles before your coworkers. I mean, this it's not everyone oh can handle that pressure. Yeah, those were good times. Yeah. Yeah. Stuffed green pepper, for example. Yeah, plain Playing poker. I don't remember that. You I read. The I heard this. Uh, no, I heard your last show, but I don't remember that. But I do remember. He doesn't remember why it was, it was traumatic. Was playing scratch offs and poker at that back table. I told them the story. Will definitely stress you out. I was your pizza. <laughs> hey, thanks for the ten thousand, man. Oh, what's up with Christo, man? Who knows? He's back in He's Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Hopefully somewhere. dead. Wow. I like I'm how sorry, every time I, I, my, sorry, I'm, I know I I'm the one who said it, but I know I'm not the only one who wishes it. <laughs> <laughs> I said I hopefully he's dead. That's <laughs> so every time a new friend comes over, every time a new person comes over. Oh, we're not um, friends. Someone else he has shown his, his nuts to. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's just another. No, Justin's never seen my nuts. Another one. Joyce's bald story. Not on purpose. To be said. Not on purpose. Purpose said. for him, like he means to show his balls. He's never shown you his balls. Are you talking to the intern serious? or Justin? Wait, wait, wait. No, to Justin. Oh. Okay, I was say, me and Todd have definitely, Todd has oh. seen my junk a I've fair peed amount of time. I've peed on your peed, Oh, my God, that's a great story. We'll so we were at later. the Applebee's. Oh, yeah. No, dude, true story. So we are at Applebee's on Curlew and US 19. I don't know what the occasion was, probably just regular day. And we're in the bathroom, already drunk, because I remember just giggling. Moderately intoxicated. And I'm in one urinal, and he's in the other urinal. That was urinal. the separation divider. Yeah, we had the, yeah, the, the, we had the no homo divider. Which, yeah. as you know, no gives homo. you clear view of, of said ankles. partner's fe- foot and ankles. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. So yeah. we're sitting there, we're talking this shit, and they had the, you know, so they had the, the little... The feet. They had the little current event sports stuff, which me and Todd clearly care a lot about. Not in that and time. The next uh, thing I know, Tim this Howard dude is peeing team, straight up. Not a little bit, of, not a little quick whoop. No, like <laughs> peeing 
on my fucking quick. feet. I mean, it wasn't. Like, no, it was a joke. We didn't, or we didn't or cross uh, streams. Uh, jokes, but yeah. Okay, well, right. it, it wasn't out of no. It was. I mean, it wasn't like out of nowhere. It was you retaliation. You had done something to me. Or you like cupped a fart really? in my was face it? or what something. What was it? You, you don't even remember. We remember you grabbed this story. my balls. You, grabbed, you, you showed me your balls. That's what it was. You showed so it me was your balls. Ah, so it was a Wednesday. So it was a Wednesday. He said yeah. he said He no. went to the urinal, and I had walked he in. He's like, hey, hey uh, does this look normal to you? And now you know I'm, it's the true story. <laughs> yeah. Now that you might know have it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say it didn't happen. I'm not going to. And like a fool, I looked down. And he did the whole thing. Oh, well, oh, the oh, goat! Okay. Oh, oh yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, no, I, I actually well, did the show a last timeless time. classic. Well, I go a little weird. I go to. I meant to go one of her roommates, and I go to both of her roommates. It was That's pretty great. Casualties pretty of good, war. Pretty That's good. Two for one deal. But anyway, so yeah, he peed all over my feet. It was good. like no joke. He, I remember him, and we just giggled. Between laughing, I couldn't and even get angry. Like laughing we and crying. crying, he said, two men crying with, with Todd, one with soiled feet." If I didn't know you and love you so much, yeah. I would punch you in the face yeah. right now. <laughs> but we, but were, I was, a, I'd never laughed so hard. And to this day, and here's the thing that I think is interesting about my and, and Todd's relationship is that I fucking hate him. Absolutely, <laughs> number one. It's copacetic. Number two. I assure you, you're right. the big, you're the biggest piece of shit I've ever met in my life. <laughs> not to be but, confused with Bono, but <laughs> exactly. I, I'm up there. Well, he's not. Number one, you're definitely number two or number three. But uh, no, no. But seriously, like Todd is so such a dick, but also the funniest human being I've ever met in my life. Appreciate that. And that is the only reason I was able to laugh. We were literally in hysterics, crying. I've never <laughs> cried in a, in a in a public men's bathroom with any other man. Well, not for positive reasons. Well, it's so. three days. Yeah. Oh, exactly right. <laughs> yeah. So I've never been beat on <laughs> and cried at the same day in a public bathroom <laughs> at an Applebee's. With Usually with doesn't room. end in laughter. Yeah, that was the one time. Room. Yeah, so that's my story there. All right, so uh, intern, we'll uh, go with what's new with you. That shirt looks new. No, I've had oh, this yeah. since New Orleans. WrestleMania. Yeah. Oh, uh, where the Undertaker lost, just yeah. so if anyone didn't know. Awesome. Which, oh, yeah. Blow my brains out. Who gives a shit category of my life? Well, you should give a, a shit wow. because it's it's a miracle that Joyce is still alive. Yeah. yeah. No, Paul Bear is dead. Yeah, he he's dead. he died. He did die. Oh, yeah. way oh, dead. Am I right? Am I right? Well, this time he's actually dead. We need to buy dead. more Triple microphones. H runs the company now. Uh, Bret Hart not so oh, good. Speaking no. of I mean, he's Triple still alive, H, but he's not good. We didn't do your Can what's we get new her yet. Did no, no, no. We'll okay, go with we'll that in a second. That. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. Jokes on me. This is going to be like a bring your own alcohol and mic party from now on. There's we no really room for more enough. mics. There's yeah, there is. You can probably fit one, one of these line in. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. All right. Well, we'll work on that next time. We can, we can make it work. That's oh, you can piggyback on mics on it. Far? Yeah, we can. We'll save that Isn't for like the... Isn't it like a uh, splitter? Can't we buy a splitter? We're going right, to have well. a uh, tech-savvy uh, technical after show, so oh. we'll save all <laughs> this for... You denied me, uh, oh, but you denied my request for a splitter for my microphone. <laughs> uh, nothing is new with me at all. You sure I you don't want a very boring you life. You sure you don't want to, as is tradition, and steal one from Joyce? Yeah. You know? uh, Didn't he already what did do did I do his? Today? Are well, we not yeah, there? Yeah, you yet? did mine. Really? You can explain your half. I of the missed adventure. a little bit of it because I was making drinks. Okay, so yeah, you're good. Uh, so what's new with me? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I uh, mowed the lawn today. Strange. Weird. Uh, went to work, and my car decided to break down. Always a positive. Fantastic. You were very calm about it when you were talking to me. Like, yeah, which yep, is my car is dying. Yeah, it's usually dead. Means he's furious. Yeah. And then it was just very calm, like, he like scarily. He doesn't get calm. He shuts down. Is basically oh, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. 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 He called me to ask if I could help him. I knew something was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, freaking out after see. that. Other than that, let's, let's go on a positive note. Okay. Oh, actually, well, when it, let, let, for, for joke purposes, I called AAA to come pick me up. But in when telling McBride, <laughs> it didn't go as AAA when I called. Someone's knocking. Speaking I called Triple H. H, and they're coming to help me. Uh, here's what I'm going to have to do. You I'm just said to, it again. Yeah. No, I because well, I, I did say that. Yeah. AAA Here, McBride, you go, then, I, then right. I'll pick we'll, up. We'll take it over. He called me to tell me the story. I was busy doing homework and whatnot, so I didn't answer the phone. And he said, oh, my car broke down on the way home from work. And he's telling me, yeah, don't worry about it, though. I called Triple H. <laughs> Triple H is on the way. I go, well, I mean, that's great news. I mean, he'll probably just pedigree your car back into working condition, maybe hit it with a sledgehammer a few times, and you'll be good to go. Well, you see, he called me and asked me to uh, diagnose his car over the phone. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I tried to inform him that I was home alone with my daughter and was not driving out there to see what was wrong yeah, with his car. Yeah, it's a little more important. I told him to uh, call AAA, not Triple H, 
And uh, then we I figured out Triple later H. On, I mean, call them both. Why don't you? Then. Do we have any quizzes? Just why? I don't know. You'd have to ask him. I didn't okay. get one. Who's that Tetron doing? I ain't It's the it's the Triple A guy. I think no, Triple A is. On. Sure is. Oh, oh no. And we're back. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I did actually give him a couple diagnostic suggestions over the phone. I asked him to, uh, I said, did you check your uh, your transmission fluid level? I mean, it could just be completely dry and you're done. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of fluid in there. I pulled it out. I go, well, what uh, what did it look like? Was it, what color was it? Was it like clear and red, kind of like Kool-Aid, like it's supposed to be? Oh, no, it was black. So, I mean, it could be the transmission fluid. You're right. So, uh, it could be a Let shifter, it, yeah, the pump. Yeah. I mean, it could be quite a few things. Yeah, I mean, it, it could be whatever. It's black blood of the earth. Uh, <laughs> you mean, don't you mean oil? Is actually <laughs> currently here right now, dropping the car off in the That's front. That's good. So, uh, That's yeah, good that they're That's quick, awesome. too. That was only like an hour well, ago. Well, no, he dropped another car off before he came here. Well, he, he had to a, pick up another a, one. A double-decker? Oh, uh, that was super nice of him. So he's literally taking a shit in your front lawn. Is what it sounds <laughs> like. Well, no, hey, actually, he's going to be coming in and dropping my keys off. <laughs> okay. Which is yeah. See, okay. So what else is new with me? Uh, it was uh, intern and I's year anniversary on Sunday. Congratulations. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's nothing new. Oh yeah. I, I forgot. forgot. Yeah. yeah. It's been a long day, all right. What's new with you, intern? Other than not caring about your relationship? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> let's see. So uh, we so started they the day all off, blend and I know together. I know show's gonna love this, but uh, we went and got pedicures. Well, you got today. something that's four inches nice. long. Show not happy about it. Queered me out all day. Not a big deal. Whatever. It's, it's gay for normal. him for not doing it's it, and normal. he's got a four inch dick, so it really doesn't matter. I've been trying to get Justin to a pedicure, but he won't because he has this weird fungus kind of thing oh, on his feet. Listen, and he feels like the people you can get him much. to do a pedicure. Oh, he no. just knows it's oh going to cost a and lot he of is money. Really nervous about Joyce it. Joyce, don't be nervous. He'll take it all away, honey. Joyce's feet smell so no. bad, like they get I, so bad. I'm going to reveal a secret him. here to the world and listen, all the avid listeners. I have the <laughs> to the millions of fans listening <laughs> around the world. Costa Rica. Justin has the worst feet. I've ever experienced no, in my story. life. She said, yeah, take your shoes off. Get off. I was like, bitch, you don't want me to take my shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to fog this place up. This relationship has come to an German end. cockroach is gone. I'm going to fog it up. You want to wow. know where they make peanut butter? Underneath his toenails. That's where peanut butter comes from. That's really bad. <laughs> Asmund butter. <laughs> so after we went and got the pedicure, we went to the Rays game. And, okay, uh, nice the and then after that, we went to Texas Day Brazil. Oh, Let me my tell gosh. You something. Which sounds confusing. Easily the best place I've ever eaten in my entire I've life. I've never really? eaten that much in my entire life. Is I don't that, know how I walked out. Texas Day Brazil over by International Mall. Is that it's with a the cards where you flip it? It's a Brazilian steakhouse. They come to your table. They cut oh, yeah, the place yeah. off. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> there's so much food about there. About $45 a person, but it's all you can eat, and it is absolutely amazing. They have a amazing. salad buffet. It is worth the price, strangely enough. There's like enough. 50 things on it, and they have salmon, and they have sushi, and then they have your salad stuff, and this cheese that I've never heard of, and this other yeah. stuff I've never Was heard it, of. Was uh, it Chavarti? Oh, yeah. If you're hungry, you have the card on green, and these people come to you with like meat on a stick and they cut off the meat for you at your table and if, when you flip it red they don't come over to you even though they still came over to us yeah. um, so, so they come over with a whole bunch of different types of meats you were more excited about meat delivery than Joyce it seems like something he's pretty no, he was actually to. very wait, excited wait, he was on so green more how, than me how am I getting queered out here but no, you're not getting... Well, the manicure. We haven't touched on that. Uh, no, that he was excited right. about the meat. Manicure's gay. We'll Manicure's not. No, none of them are gay. No, he was excited about the meat, though. I had my uh, eyes... Uh, what was it called with the... Strings? Opened. I had eyebrow threading. Are you guys familiar with this? I don't no, even know. What but you won't get your feet Apparently done? These seriously? These camel jockeys come in. No. <laughs> and it started in the Middle East, so Indian people yeah, or... Arabic or Middle Eastern people. This do is it. a friendly it's racial it. advisory. They take like they take <laughs> string and they yes, pull your eye. Yeah. Yeah. If you are offended by racial she slurs and jokes, please and then tune she out. She goes on your eyebrows and pulls out each individual hair. It's actually very safe for you. Why would you want to do that? More gentle on your skin than waxing. All to you. Why would you want to do either of those? Go things. get it done. The easy, the easy way to go about this is just read our disclaimer on YouTube and the Facebook page. Yeah, uh, just like Tosh Point all or even Jackass Yeah, it's all it. jokes. Just put it right up in the front. Yeah, it's right Listen, there. You, joke's on you. you, you your, Update your to racial disclaimer. If you are a towelhead camel jockey, <laughs> please do not listen to the next three seconds. Anyways, so they right, so other than you that, go I into the mall... And then they zip, 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 and then they do was it with string. Was that them speaking their mud language, or was that <laughs> some kind of a procedure? No. Mud language. <laughs> no, he gives a disclaimer for me. <laughs> but uh, 
No, it was it, so I did that. So that's no homo, but I was uncomfortable with that. And then honestly, my pedicure is it's an insecurity. You don't have any. Really? It's just weird. Really unfamiliar. You don't have weirdness. anybody pink headphones? You don't have any. No. Everybody comfortable has with my toenails. Everybody I clip them. No, I'm not talking about your toenails. I'm just talking no, just about in general. general. Yeah. Have and I ever I had say, this is the longest what's new with you ever in oh, life. still on that? In life. Yeah. Well, we're I not even, even talking about it. Are it's we? so, <laughs> it's it's been taking so long that everything that's been new with me is old oh now. God. It's just it's not so, even so worth talking about. So, uh, let's go to you. Thanks a lot, Justin. Doesn't have a job. What's No, that's old. We've, we've, we've covered that topic. Uh, what's new with me? Officially started school. It was exciting. Um, Hence the Thursday night show. i tell you what's new. Remember doing homework without having a baby? Yeah. That was weird. You can't just go in your room and do homework anymore. Oh, it's over. Oh, I got like a. All right, let me check here on my uh, syllabus. All right, so I got to do this and this. Oh, yeah, that'll take me an hour. I'm done. No. <laughs> what used to take an hour now it takes three and a half hours. Oh, absolutely. Four diaper changes and a lot of, hey, baby. A lot of that happening. I can't even use my phone for five minutes. She takes it away from me. It's, it's worth it, it though. Cause yeah, absolutely. Ba- like, changing found, changing a poopy YouTube. diaper is more fun than homework. My, my two year old found YouTube and I cannot get her off of it. Well, that's she, because she, get her off YouTube. Well, that's the, yeah, that is the problem. Finds, Why, well, yeah. if she's listening to this show on YouTube. Finds, there's really no yeah, reason to be nothing on to fear. White person's problems. First world <laughs> white people yeah, problems. First world white people problems. <laughs> they, listen, because most of the time when people have kids, they've already finished school. Boom. No, oh, that's in the not face. True. That's oh, not in my face. family. <laughs> not in my family, sir. Uh, oh, and speaking of school, what's new? I'll tell you what's not new for the guy who I used to go to school with. He died on the first day of school in the bathroom. Oh, Anybody shit. see this? No, I thought it was a dude. No, there's no, a, was a woman. Was it a guy? Oh, okay. In Clearwater? Did you hear about this? Clearwater? Yeah, at my campus. Yeah, a woman. She yeah, was like well, 36 or something, right? 42. Okay. Whatever. Well, Close it enough. was dead. At that point, sex, <laughs> yeah, sex of the that. person doesn't matter. That's got to be, that sucks. I read it. Yeah, I actually I mean, read it. Man, if there's a day you don't want to die, it's the first day of school. You know, die the day before school starts because they don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, but they now woke up early, got all their books, bought all their school supplies, oh, what were ready to get their learning the on, and then go to the bathroom. You know, I'm going to take a dump before our class. Yeah, yeah, but, now, but, yeah but now, finally, a girl could say, oh, my God, I can't go to school. I would die. Oh, that's and true. And she actually did. Now, it's finally, true the girls can make that statement because she yeah, actually did die. Disconnect. Right? No, nope. yeah. nothing. No, it's true. Does Very anyone good. know how Talking she died? Anyone? What disconnected? Your mic? No, my no, mic is good. fine. It's my headphones. Anyone know how she died? Uh, her life too early. her life ran out, I think. was. Is that what happens when you die? Wow. Thank you so much out. for that. Uh, you know what? You always seem to you know, be able to educate me, the listeners, oh, everyone in the room. I am a college room. student. We are yes. honored by your presence. Thank you. Thank you. Honored by your presence. <laughs> that was one of the first things I learned in anatomy and physiology. <laughs> for the first time being honored, Todd <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Got anything sorry. else? What's your name? McDouble? That's really What's it. Your name? McDouble. McDouble. <laughs> McDouble. It's McDouble. <laughs> I, 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 I should uh, be totally named after my favorite sandwich. It is pretty yeah, good. Yeah, Grimace and McDouble on that side Grimace of the Grimace and McDouble. Sense. And I'm pretty sure yeah. you would be McRib. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm bringing sexy back. <laughs> it's no big deal. All right. Uh, yeah, that's, that's for her pleasure. Yep. Uh, let's see. Two weeks. Nah, nothing. Not, not a damn thing. Um. Well, that's boring. Come yeah. on. Yeah. No, I, uh, I, I, I agree. You just said your daughter discovered YouTube. No, she's been on that since she was like one. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, I, I can't even text message during the day. She starts crying if I take the phone away from her. What does she watch on YouTube? Like, all these I, I hope it's not the same out. channels no, like, that like show is watching. And, and, and Minnie Mouse and all of that crap. She, she, she watches that. On there, so I can actually watch regular TV. And so how? Kind of if you're listening, how old is she? If you're listening, she is. She'll be two in November. Okay, so I just want to say something real quick. Two in November knows how to work an iPad, iPhone, all it's, that stuff. That's ridiculous. Uh, my niece is a nephew. Taught, she taught her grandma how to use a touch phone. She, right. She knows how to look at pictures. You under- she knows how to text. She dialed 911. Do you understand that your kids will have no idea what a VHS tape or a DVD is? No, Good for them. No her, idea. No, I still buy her VHS tapes for the Disney movies because they're like 50 cents. As compared to a DVD, which is like twenty seven dollars, and the right. quality and, and the quality is is, is negligible. You can't really even she, tell. Yeah, it's like an LP versus a CD. Blu ray, VHS. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. But my point is, I hear what you're saying. But my point is, is that uh, that generation will have no idea no. at all. 
You have to use your hands? Oh, yeah, I mean, she it's hey, like a yeah, baby's it's, toy. It's like a baby's toy. Yeah, we'll they're, be like Back to the Future 2, man. Uh, they're putting iPads in, in elementary schools. They're not even going to learn how to Good. write cursive. There's nothing yeah, wrong with that. No. They're not going to know how to, oh, how to you, write wait, notes. Or, wait, you so totally she go on there and type? And she yeah, she those? dialed 911 when she was about w when I first moved into Pasco. Here's the key, though. She, was it on she purpose? Had a toy. Mm. Yes. Of course. Not. She had a toy that was a, that was a, a phone, and it would say, for an emergency, dial 911. It was like a song, and it would keep doing it. Well, she got my phone, it's and a weird it somehow song. became on the keypad, and she dialed 911. Oh, no. And she was on there for about five minutes before I heard a lady saying, hello, can I help you? Is this an emergency? And I answered it. She said, yeah, this is 911. Is everything okay? And I said, I'm sorry, my daughter dialed. And they said it happened so often, it's ridiculous. And right. still, within two minutes, a cop was knocking on my door, wanting to search my house to make sure I didn't kill anybody. Didn't, right? Didn't yeah. shoot well, you because you're in Pasco right? County, right? Yeah. Well, he got there extremely fast. Like, so of course he did, because yeah. there's nothing else to do in Pasco. Good thing you don't live in Montgomery. <laughs> that would have been that would have been bad. But no, no, oh, wow. good thing you're so not black. Jump the gun on that one. Are we saving that It'd for later? No, no. But real quick though, that. seriously, just jump back. Like the generations are changing so rapidly, it's insane. It's really, really insane. I don't know. Um, Chris's son is two and a half. The most exciting thing he does Sounds is right. spit all over himself. Oh, wow. Well, well I mean, look, I mean, at, look at the gene pool. You can only do so I mean, much with bad genes. That's I mean, just, you know, look what, he has, look what he had to work with. Yeah, not much no there. No comment. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll start Moving with on. Yeah, we'll Moving start with first on. on. And just like Moving usual, uh, we start with a child dying in a car. Weird. That's Standard how we start stuff. every show on current events, because it, it happens. That's Let me guess, is it Florida-based? It has to do with the uh, windows being up. Not. They left their kid in the car? We, we usually, usually <laughs> switch between Florida, Ohio, and, like, Arizona. Oh, yeah, the, well, this one's from Florida. Yeah, right. This one's from Kansas. Is it and a beaner? The CNN, <laughs> no. The <laughs> CNN title is, Yet Another Child Dies in a Hot Car. That's a CNN title. Told it's you. sick that you have to start yet that with another. Yet Another. <laughs> it's like, what, every day and a half? It was like, they're exhausted reporting. You expect to see that on, like, a CNN another report child. saying yet another oh, Fast and Furious movie is being released. So the uh, this story is a, it's a ten month old girl, and here's the situation: ten month ten month old girl left in a hot car in Wichita, Kansas, Ooh. triggered the quick arrest of the girl's foster father. Oh. and on Friday prompted state officials to launch home inspections of adoptive and foster families. Here's the deal. Here's what happened in this: this family. Got a microphone malfunction. They were kind of like doing a test drive okay. on the child. And what I mean by that was the fact that <laughs> the foster father was in the process of adopting the girl with Jesus his partner. Christ. Okay. Problem number one. So he was dating not a female. Wow. Yeah, Grimace kinda. says problem number one. Yeah. <laughs> now, the 29-year-old foster father, whose name was not released, was booked on aggravated endangerment charge, but has not been formally charged. This guy... They have other children. What was Roll it that we were about? Well, great news for those kids. Hopefully they're old they enough have, to read what, the news. They have, three other children, I think it is, and this was going to be their fourth foster child. Was. The couple are adopted. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Two other children and our foster parents. Well, wait a you second. You don't even know the story. The couple are the adopted <laughs> parents of two children and our foster parents of four others with the age ranging from three to Six 18. Six kids? Six kids. Five kids, they probably six five kids, kids, and they were going to go for a seventh. Yeah, they Wait, they were the parents of two, so then adopted the adopted parents. And this is a confusing the story. Oh, they were fostering, and, I'm and then they had adopted. Not a fan of kids, so yeah, I'm going to go to the bathroom now and continue. Do you know what the sad thing is? The first thing he says after he reads this, he goes, "I wonder if they get their money back." I did say uh -oh. because they're in the process of adopting the child. I'm pretty I sure all sales are final. <laughs> Yeah, but it's Pretty a process. Sure. It's, it's an application fee. I mean, if you don't. Yeah, apply yeah they for probably it. get half back. I, I don't know. Well, that's no. really bad. Though. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, I don't think I could so. understand the need for you know lawyers and stuff, but. Uh, uh, like, hey, this one was defective. It didn't last Ooh. in um, high heat conditions. Yeah. I would like to this one doesn't like to vacuum. <laughs> I'd like to return this for one that does like to yeah, vacuum. I mean, have, Preferably you, black so it can handle they, the high they temperatures. Keep, they should wow. Wrong. wow. Wrong. They should That's put, all I'm saying. They should put I think you're, I think you're, on the amount of fosters or fo kids that they can foster. Yeah, I mean, uh, to to two maybe because at that point you're a halfway house. Have you ever seen 19 kids and counting? Those people have like 30 kids by now. 
Yeah. Yeah. Ridic- but they actually, this woman popped. But unfortunately, all these kids a lot of out. foster parents they no, use no, no, it for no, they're money foster so they don't parents. Have to work. No, they're not. Nineteen kids and counting. Those are all. No, no. Kids. I thought we were jumping back to what oh, he no, was I'm talking, talking about. about. Having a lot of kids. Like well, that's they no. Have all this talk about foster parents and dead kids just keeps bringing back the Monty Python dead parrots sketch in my head. Like it just, I can just see these people bring the kids. We saw that live, by the way. You know. Oh, I know. I heard about last show. Yeah, we saw it simulcast. It. We went to a regal. In Pinellas Park and saw it. it. So Monty, P- Monty Python did a live showing in London that aired live at movie theaters, select movie theaters around the uh, around the world. And uh, her boss, because she works at a British pub, hooked us up with uh, a, cu- a, a couple a couple of tickets. We and we brought little Jared, who saw some boobies, and he was very uncomfortable, apparently. Yeah, face, yeah and sitting on face. It was very very crass, but it was very very good. But anyways, long boring story short, they did the parrot skit, and uh, we saw it live good, in a movie theater. Good stuff. Anyway, there we go. So, anyways, gay people adopting <laughs> gay people adopting people and killing them. Yeah, I'm not for it. <laughs> <laughs> I think jumping back to what we were None talking about. I am unfor it. Moral of the story. Don't be gay. Gay people adopting people? Cool, yeah. go for it. Gay people adopting kids and killing them? Not for not it. Not a big fan. Yeah, not a for it. I got another one here. It's from uh, 10 News here in Tampa, but it didn't happen here. It's from Spokane, Washington. Toddler tossing suspect. The devil made me do it. Obviously. Pretty solid Spokane defense. woman turned to prayer before she tossed her toddler down a 50-foot embankment, according to court documents filed oh, Monday. I saw this. So this lady throws her child. Well, hold on. One of the witnesses said her and her child approached him and asked for some water prior to the incident. After he provided them with water, he called police because she said she was concerned that they had nowhere else to go. Then he said Except he saw the mother. Hell. <laughs> then he said he saw the throw the toddler into the air and over a fence down the embankment. Which is standard procedure. Yeah. Bye bye. Baby's so cute. Bye bye. Because yeah, the devil made her do it. Yeah. I mean, I do flying baby at home with my kid, but I'm usually holding usually on to her. Him. Yeah, but you usually catch him on the other side. No, right? there's no letting go either. Oh, you just, just pretend. Flying. It's baby. all pretend. Oh, it's, pre- yeah. <laughs> it's pretend. There's no throwing baby over fence. That's oh, not look a game. Cute in my house. baby. Bye bye. Yeah. So my whole thing about that is, um, I think she's trying to get the insanity plea. Oh, probably, and yeah, for sure. Although there, are, not there are easier ways to do that without, with a whole lot less throwing babies over fences right. involved. Right. Although I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm all about less government control. I do believe that there, like, you need a, you need a license to catch a fish. You need a license or a permit to do this and drive a car and do this. But they'll let any fucking idiot, excuse my language, no, literally have a, kid. a fucking idiot. Yes, yeah, literally. Yeah. Just have a kid and have eight kids, five kids, Two and kids, twelve kids, you know, and then they and then TLC gets involved, and then all of a sudden you have a TV show and you're a bunch of freaking dummies. Guys, and guys, right, I just want to say on the bright side, he was stopped by a pine tree. Yeah, they saved the kid. Kids. So oh well, thank God for that. I, I don't it only know. fell kind of uh, down. Oh well, there's a bright the child side was to the story. Into the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. By yeah, Monday, the boy was out of the hospital and in child protective services. Of course. Government Which control. soon to be adopted by a gay couple I'm and killed. And killed then. Yeah, killed later. To be killed later. You d- you denied death this time, but we will it's get like you. It's like Final Destination. The gays will get you. It's ridiculous. Listen, my whole thing, again, I don't like massive government control, but I do think there needs to be some sort of sterilization that goes on people that would be nice. are ridiculously stupid inept to we talk about this raise kids. On a show, just like how I said that I think we, we touched base. Chips. In our head or yeah. something, so they have to be active. Yeah, the RF- uh, RFID cruise. chip is what it's no, called. No, we talked about, like, government-mandated sterilization. You can only have children. Dude, they're already doing it. Okay it's in your it. water. It's a gene. What do you think GMOs Haven't are, Haven't you bro? ever seen The Matrix, Yo, man? Yo, bro, don't you know what, 1982? Did you ever read 1982, bro? I was Gosh. born in 1981. I didn't I have I was time. born in 1982. I read the book because it was the year I was born. No, seriously, it's already happening. I hate to be the, the, the doomsdayer, but it's totally already happening. Not fast yeah, enough. it's called the yeah. state of Florida. Almost all of us, except for Chris, is and not able cars. to have kids. <laughs> all right, so uh, next story here. I got one. Uh, this is from the Smoking Moving Gun. On, number three. <laughs> Man threw car seat with baby in it at girlfriend during argument. Was it her baby? Was it safety approved car seat? Well, it was inside a trailer in Tennessee. I'm going to go Obviously. with yes. Obviously. It was. It was the couple's baby. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Well, then that's just, that's just playtime. That's, that's just that catch game he was talking yeah, about. Flying baby. Yeah, exactly. That's all that is. I mean, it, uh, you know, th- this incident prompted her to leave with the 17-month-old son. At that point... That's a, that's a pretty good reaction. I didn't expect that. 
I expected <laughs> maybe a kitchen knife or some kind of a BB pellet gun. Yeah, see, at that point, Woodley, this is this guy's last name, okay. took the child's car seat that's still the child in it and slung it at her. Well, at least he left him in the seat. How do you, I mean, is this a big guy? I mean, no, you don't have to look be, big. You really don't have to be too What big he did say was he that's... told her to leave, or he told the woman to take the baby and leave the trailer. That's the reason he threw the baby in the car seat at her. So, what I'm gathering from this is it's really not dad's fault. It's her fault. She, she didn't, didn't catch, catch the baby. Exactly. I mean, that's. Yeah, in that's where he's going seat? with it. Totally. Yeah, absolutely. I would use that defense in court. I mean, that'd stand. Uh, well, maybe in Tennessee, maybe, but Tennessee. They're throwing an object, Tennessee. though. Tennessee? That could be a Assault weapon. Assault with a deadly weapon. Yes. Yeah. They're not throwing an object. They're throwing a baby. Yeah. <laughs> First off, am I the only person that sees. Are you crazy? Well, oh, you I know, feel like I'm taking crazy pills. First off, you don't notice. throw a freaking baby. No, the baby's <laughs> so, in the object. I'm saying if you're going to use it in court, right. then that object was That's a weapon. That's a deadly weapon. Right, but can we all agree right here in this room that you don't throw babies? Yes. Right. Okay, just making with sure. With the intention of not catching? No, yeah. just never throw a baby. I'm with you, but not most never. parents throw their babies. Yeah, it's like that whole King Solomon story. Where it's like, oh, cut the baby in half, and the real mother well, will say this. You ever easy. hear that story? You guys that's biblical? Easy. You guys oh, ever read that? Bible. You guys ever read this small little, so this small little blog now, called biblical. The Bible? You know, Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag. Hey, Hashtag speak, salvation. This show will never you, end. You should come on sometime when we have the intern's mom on, whose name yeah, on she's the show is Coog. Coog. She's, she's Wiccan. Oh, is she? Yeah. I will eat her she's, alive. she's Warden Cougar. Warden Cougar, that's her name. Warden Cougar. They're not into eating is anyone she, alive. Is he rude? You're wrong, yeah. mom? I missed the whole thing. I blacked out. What we can't hear you. <laughs> Wait, so are you, are you, it's your mom? Yes. It's the intern's mom. And she's a Wiccan. She is. Yes. No, Wiccan, she's not atheist. Wiccan's are Witch. like the witches. It's like uh, it's like the coven, like the the show you watch, except it's actually hey, is real. Is it like the witch? Do you watch Witches of East End? I do. Oh my god, I yeah. love that. Oh, 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 oh my god. god. Officially, their their numbers just went up to so four people that watched the show. It's the same just thing? like Harry Potter. What is Speaking Wiccan and the occult like the same? Well, a Wiccan is part of the occult. Okay, right. I don't understand any of right. any any non-standard <laughs> belief structure. Is the occult? Yeah. If it's okay. like mysticism, I mean, it's wouldn't it just yeah. be under Atheist paganism? Is a in nothing. There is no. No. You just the occult is all encompassing. Yeah. Everything. Well, I don't no, like saying the occult. That right. kind of sounds dark. But, like kind of like a witch. That's I mean, just how it is. Really? It's, it's occult is Satanism. literally your mom's version no, no, of no, religion. Says Satanism. I'm saying it's not Satanism. It's not. No, 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 no. Satanism is religion. Right. Occult is all the other stuff. Wiccan is religion. Yeah, it sure is. It's like Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Bone. Horrible, which was a porno I saw one time. <laughs> it was not what I expected. <laughs> there was more dudes in that thing than anybody else. Really? And with their the wand? Word bone in it, that's Guess what? Yeah, they I were, can't imagine. Yeah, their wand. Yeah, I can't imagine the spells they were shooting. Right. Right. Their, right. wood. their wand skills yeah. were amazing. They were made of a fisher wood of the penis. It was horrible. <laughs> It was like, damn, man, I'm not into this. this, this Three no hours later, he turned yeah, it off. No but I'm, I'm, gonna jack I'm not into it. But There's no way I'm going to climax watching this. I'm already here, and it's oh, already out. So, so horrible. It's like three different kinds of horrible. Gee. All right, so next one. <laughs> Moving so, on. Seattle woman, 33, arrested for humping lawn chairs and exposing self. Yep. What's wrong arrested? with that? Arrested. Commended. How old was she? She looks like a prostitute. <laughs> A Washington woman who is wearing a short dress and no underwear is facing an indecent exposure charge after allegedly humping lawn chairs, exposing herself to woman and to a woman and two children and urinating in public. She's 33. Dude, this is plural chairs? Yeah, chairs, she not got chair. Look at chairs before somebody got offended. <laughs> chairs on like porch chairs, like lawn chairs. Why are there chairs out? Yeah, yeah. See where she's Side coming. Chair. Most women with Wheel their chair. men, they're not satisfied after yeah. the first one. So you chairs. She got away with chairs. First off, number one. Number two, dude, there's something so wrong with this world. I'm <laughs> so I pray for like, I, I pray for swine flu part two. <laughs> but <Or> do. <laughs> dude, and just wipe us out. It'll only kill the weak. It'll only get rid of the people that can't afford it. It'll only the kill people. the the chair yeah, humpers. It's not a big crap. deal. Get rid of them, man. Like, seriously? Kill everybody that can't afford it. With a, no, no, just kill with the disease. 
I oh, think Grimace just, might be a chair humper. He her seems her very her concerned right now. Fine, yeah, what's going on over here? He or she, your kids will be fine. I'm just saying, like, seriously, our world is so screwed up right oh, now. Oh, it's the worst. It's insane. All these stories are the most horrible stories. Oh, it gets worse. Ever. Honestly. Of course of, it does. And tomorrow they'd be even more worse. And the next day, and it just keeps going. I can vouch crazy. for that, Justin, because honestly, of all the planets I've visited in my life, this is the worst one I've ever been to. That's kind of <laughs> weird. Hey, these two paragraphs are absolutely amazing in this story. A female witness told officers that Han, seen above, which you should see her picture. It's terrible. Well, that's tradition. Prostitute. Had come in t- come onto her lawn and was humping the lawn chairs. The woman so added that she and her two children, ages 15 and 11, watched Han's late afternoon oh, performance sure. from a window in their home. After grinding on the lawn chairs, Han's allegedly exposed her vagina and then smacked her genitals with her hand multiple times. <laughs> Additionally, the witnesses right. reported that Han's believed or relieved herself oh. On the lawn and bent over and exposed her bottom. Sounds like a classy broad. This was in her front yard. Where was this again? It was, it was in this upstairs. woman's it was in front Washington yard. Washington State. It was in the woman with the two kids' front yard. I refuse to believe this wasn't Florida. Oh, it wasn't her. The, not the her own front yard. No, it was. It was. Oh. Wa- hey, that's two Random from Washington. Yard. It so was far. Florida County, Washington, though. Florida right? County, <laughs> Washington. Okay. Guilty Pasco by County, Washington. Hey, by Guilty the way, by uh, association. Guy still hasn't come in with your keys, has he? I already got him a long time ago. Yeah, we're, we're good. Yeah, he we're disappeared you. for like five minutes. So you said he was coming in. He did come in. He met me at the doorway. Yeah, usually when a guy comes into Joyce's house, he comes in. That's Don't just uh, standard operating seconds. procedure. It's Never lasts long. I can vouch and say Joyce is straight for sure. Straight as an arrow. All the homo jokes. They're hey just guys. not. They're just lost on the, oh, the answer. So no homo. Said. No, no, no. Not about the homo stuff. Justin. My name's Justin. That's just his name? Yeah. It's yeah, name. Just, that's well, my real name. My mother gave it to me. I'm he's pretty a proud special of it. guest. He's, what's the name he's of, not just a normal guest. What's what's the better? What, should I have a better name? It could be yeah. Tino Benino. I mean, that would, Tino Benino Caino. His name is Tino Benino. Yeah, that, 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 like all yeah. assassins, it's I a three name. I should do that. A three yeah. part name. So anyway, so next story. What is what? Next one here. Do a busset for X-rated romp in parking lot. This is from Manatee County, Florida. Had to Mm -hmm. to put it out there. Shocking. A Florida woman who once busted for cheering on her teenage daughter during a videotape brawl with a classmate was arrested yesterday after cops spotted her having sex with a 20-year-old man standing outside a pickup truck parked in front of a beef over Eddie's. This lady, 42, and guy, 20. Kind of sounds like Warden Coogs. Yeah, that's what you shouldn't have your uh, have the warden contact this lady. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, it was at 6 p.m. and two individual 6 p.m. outside of a beef O'Brady's. Seriously, at dinner time. Sometimes you gotta get down. Sometimes you gotta hit hey, that Kirby's beef. A bitch. Beef curtain O'Brady's. A 20 year old was the kind of beef. <laughs> <laughs> As detailed in an explicit oh, Manatee County Sheriff's Office report, a deputy spotted Tynes. Thrusting his hip back and forth while the moaning Newcombs. Oh, that's funny, her name's great Newcomb. Great name. Legs were wrapped around him. Newcomb and Times were both naked from the waist down and had their genitals exposed. Well, I mean, that's After part Tynes of Times moved sex. away from between Newcomb's legs, the pair explained that they were friends and just having sex. And I tripped and my pants fell off. Oops. So fell into Newcomb's. Yeah, at 6 p.m. in front of a beef of Britney's. Yeah, it's horrible. Hey, that, public places. No, that's Florida. Have you guys ever had sex in a public place? Anyone? Oh, yeah. yeah. Then come on. Give them a break. It I think it's awesome. It certainly wasn't a beef O'Brady's, though. Yeah. I have Why not, O'Brady's. though? They're hungry yeah, afterwards. Not, like, you get hungry after was, you have a little It was Tomorrow time. World at Disneyland World. That was, I mean, come See, on. See, everyone have has a story. Tomorrow World? No, I'm just that's kidding. That's a very public place that is very busy. Like, it's not well, like, there's oh, busyness yeah, happening. I know that's no one's going to come see us, but maybe Disneyland they will. But no this is exciting and business. dangerous. And right. like, no, you're in front of a right. beef O'Brady's. Brady's. I actually dated the guy who owns a lot I of those beef O'Brady's that. named Cliff Longshore. And uh, I have to tell you. Had sex in front of a few of them? Is that <laughs> <laughs> every time we hang out, every time we hang out in a public setting, I find out some other know. dude she's Things dated. You don't want to know. This was so great. I don't want to steal the show real quick, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it anyways. We had earlier with she, the, yeah. yeah, I'm fine with it. I don't mind hearing about exes or stuff. I'm because I'm not a girl and that shit kind of doesn't bother me. I just me. don't want to hear the stories of you. No, no, I didn't care about that. But what I don't want to hear, <laughs> what I don't want to hear is what the, uh, most people would call uh, lying, which is, oh, I've never dated anybody in Florida, and we've been dating for almost <laughs> a year. And every time, I never really dated. And every time, as you, you just heard, <laughs> well, I dated the owner that owns all the beef O'Brady's in Florida. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. A majority <laughs> of the Bevo Brady's. And, oh, I'm sorry. So, wait. 
Exactly. Come there on. is no need to lie. Exactly my point, my lady. All right. So, so nice. I don't want to make this show a whole big deal. My whole point is, is I, oh, what no, I love about relationships. This show is a big deal. What I like about relationships is this: is that somebody keeps it real, and you somebody did a girl keeps with the glass it wrong. Eye. You're the one who told me. Yeah, but she was really hot. I know. Don't but even. But don't listen. let him fool you guys so at listen, all. Listen, listen, uh, listen. Not please. what we're okay. talking about. See, that's what? a girl. That's a girl move right there. See, we're talking about, about one what thing, and about? she's gonna abracadabra you a totally different. What were you talking about? The throat thing where you squeeze someone's throat with a bow tie. Yeah, but that's like that's like a dirty Sanchez. I've never done that. There was just a thing. A girl with a glass eye. That's just an extra hole. That's a bonus. All right. That's a good thing. I mean. Listen, I get what you're saying. <laughs> all right. First off, <laughs> secondly, I disagree with you. I, I, I. <laughs> Thirds of all, GNR. No, my whole point is, I, uh, moving on, moving on. My whole point is, is that right. she screwed a dude at Beaver Brady's. Used to own several Beaver Brady's. No, What's I What's the end of that, that story? That uh, of uh, having sex in a public place. Having sex in a public place. We've all done it. You've all done it. It's it just happens. Raise your hand if you've done it. Brady's. Well, I I can tell you that I've never let a guy right, you, beef my <laughs> old Brady in a yeah, parking lot. That's outside. not right. true. Exactly. That's lies. See, this it is a room full of lies. I can't do this show. Break. I'm over the show. I applaud them. And we're back. <laughs> Moving along. All right, Gosh. so next story here. I'm going to break up on the right Does this arm involve like a Hardee's or a, a oh, steak no, no, and no, shake? No, no, Now, nope. the next two are about airplanes. I'd shake his steak. Yeah, that FBI like... busts Ivy League scholar in plane molest. This is a very sexual what molesting kind of molest? episode. <laughs> Plane. Oh, so not barbecue or mesquite. So just no. plain molest. There was nothing <laughs> fancy. It was just a <laughs> plain old molestation. An Ivy League molest. visiting scholar was arrested Sunday by the FBI after he allegedly groped a sleeping woman's breast and then tried to slide his hand down her shirt while traveling on a flight from Tokyo to Newark, New Jersey. I read this. That's definitely a saucy molest. Yeah, that's... Uh, he has plain. A, he's facing a maximum two-year prison term and a $250,000 fine for this. Okay. Because he grabs someone's boob, he's going to go to prison for two years? Well, he slid his hand down to the nether regions. Yeah. I mean, that's like one of those things that you just can't do. You're just not allowed to do something like that. During the 13-hour flight, the woman nodded off. She later awoke to so find one of Lee's hands... Let me victim blame here. Shouldn't have fallen asleep on a plane headed Idiot. towards New Jersey. Amateur, what are we, to amateur New hour? Jersey? Yeah, 13 hours, though, seriously. No. You yeah. take some pills. You take a little nap, you but you don't sleep the whole time. She <laughs> later awoke to find one of his hands located on top of her shirt and touching her breast through her clothing. Then he allegedly touched the skin of the victim's neck and attempted to place his hand down in front of her God, shirt. The balls of this guy. We've all been in that situation where we're like, damn. Those are some titties. I would love to touch those. Have you been All in the situation for 13 hours? No, though? this guy's going to be true. in prison. Hours, she's thinking about it. Yeah. No He's man can prison. handle 13 hey, hours hey, of no. sitting next to some totally rocking boobs. Hey, why? Jeez. Why, why are you in here? I killed three people. Yeah? Touched a boob. Yeah, well, that guy who killed three people is going to be in there a whole lot longer than It doesn't boob matter. Toucher. They're going to be in the same area. They will not. It's not like they it's separate them works. per their crime. That's exactly how prison works. It's exactly how prison works. Yeah. I mean, what would a minimum security for prison? What falls under that category? Basically, a guy Death? who touches people's uh, boobs drug on charges, an airplane. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Stuff. I sold heroin. Felonies. I got caught selling heroin. I touched someone's boob. Same yeah, person. you you, Still, you both go to prison. You just don't go to the same block. That's. Same block, like you live down the street from each other. <laughs> Touch her in a hair block, cell. son. All right, I got another one for you here. Another traveler arrested Just for in-flight Just trying to represent DeGaff here, knowing a lot about prison and, and all the terms. Oh, speaking of which, Sunday we got a uh, we got a story from his town in Maryland where he moved. Oh, all right. Uh, now this one. Does it involve one. him? No. <laughs> all right, good news. Now, this one, a man flying to San Francisco allegedly touched the breast and thigh of a 14-year-old girl seated next to him and whispered, I love you in the child's ear before adding, don't tell your mom. Now, see, that guy goes into uh, segregation because he will be killed in prison. Yeah, now, yeah no, this seen, guy will get killed in prison. Was now, he seen say, by anyone? Solid pickup it's line, It's funny now. because in prison, the, the most violent person you'll ever meet, they could murder 27 people. There, he still thinks the worst person in absolutely. the world is a, a rapist or a child it's, molester, it's the whole, and they will kill him, period. It's the whole honor amongst thieves. Just ideology. so you know, this yeah. guy's name was Bed... Prakash. Is that one word? Or is that his first and last? No, that's his first and last. Bed, first name B-E-D? is Bed, last name P R A K A S H. And I'm going to go with if you listen to the Love Sponge and you hear Ned randomly say stuff, of course, which is Manson, but uh, you go with the second they hear a word like that, 
guilty. Yeah, guilty. Yeah, yeah but yeah. like bed, like B E D is his first name. Yes. There's two two yeah. names I hear in a court trial: Tyrone and Bed. Guilty. That's it. Doesn't even matter. Bed. Bed. How many have you heard it's like, bed? honey, I don't know what to name our baby. Well, we did um, conceive well, him did, in bed. Where did it happen? Maybe we should just <laughs> name him Bed. It was an homage to where it happened. I, I back that. What's the last name again? Just in case we forget. Prakash. P R A K E S H. I've got nothing witty for Prakash? that. Prakash. Sounds like Prakash. Prakash. Uh, same thing. Practice. Both. They were practicing for sex, and then. Ugh. Bed Prakash. Bed Prakash. It's All like right. a fancy way. It's my kind. Oh, we yeah. got some. Speaking of molestation. Little intense. Speaking little of molestation. Yeah, speaking of molestation here. Yeah. All right. So next one here. Uh, and and kind of last one before we get to uh, we we we, sh we should oh intern want to know if we have a quiz do we have a quiz no well we could pause and get one right we should get one yeah you want to get one we'll pause, pause and get what's one. it gonna what be kind of, what, are we, what are we running you know, what like kind of quiz uh, we're on fifty four right we'll now we'll do a basic one we got a half hour basic quiz all right yeah, yeah we'll do basic that. quiz uh, no movies so we're gonna take right, a no break movies? after this no. yeah we're gonna no okay back. after this next one no actually, soccer well. Let's let's take no a homo. let's take a real like well it's not really a break it's not like we can fucking go on commercial or anything like that it's just like pretend a, we hit a little pause gimmick right after we're talking right now pretend that, like you're going to the, the the main lobby you're getting some snacks maybe a drink some popcorn you're watching a few commercials because it's unpaused there it goes all right so the next one is about the whole Ferguson police deal and Ooh. that's that's a huge deal a hot now, head now on the next show. Is going to be the one from the roller derby. Roller derby in the 24th. Pinellas Park on the 24th on Sunday night. Pretty excited right. about yeah, that. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about, about uh, the whole ice bucket ALS challenge thing, how I think it's a fraud. Good cause, um, fiasco, stupid. Right. It's still going to be great you. dumping ice water in my wife's head, though. That's always good. It's, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I just... Doesn't get much better than that. She yeah. asked me what, to do what, it. What better so. way to raise awareness <laughs> than well, yeah, not you know, it gets it gets it's the great market. All right, we're saving it. We're saving it. We're saving it. And the kid that started died, by the way. <laughs> and died. save. We're we're gonna talk about uh, the uh, the whole service dog issue that happened in Clearwater. Yep. Did you you heard about that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We, Nobody. You have, I did not hear about this. We talked. Inside Crazy. stories. We have we inside stuff about this. We did. It's going to be um, interesting. I'm excited to hear. A, uh, a, a fried chicken logo that looks like a dick. That's funny. <laughs> it's beautiful. And you have it, um, it's beautiful. It's only funny if you put it on your website. Oh, it will. Oh, oh, on Sunday it. night, yeah. it will yeah. be. But do you have the yeah, logo yeah, yeah, so yeah, I, I can see it? it. Absolutely. And then, um, yeah, I just checked that one out. Yeah. And then uh, a, a new trend that's going on at Grand Theft Auto. It's called virtual rape. Yeah. Like, it's actually virtual rape. You guys hear about this? And hackers go on Grand Theft Auto, and they make their character literally... Bend another character over and rape them during the game. You can't control it. Nope. That person <laughs> brings them there and it happens. There's nothing you can do. Right. This is not achievement Life unlocked. Shit, that's that's the chi wow. fried chicken. That's so smart. Yeah, it looks yeah, like a that, dick though. Save it. The dirty bird. Dirty bird fried chicken. Save Beautiful. <laughs> dirty bird. Well, so they did it intentionally. The D and the B. Yeah, you yeah, can see yeah, 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 so that's, that's on Sunday. Cool. All right, so so we're gonna talk about the Ferguson thing. We're right, gonna, so do we're gonna wrap it quiz. up. We're gonna wrap it up with a real easy, non-controversial topic. We're just gonna breeze right through this. All right, so everything in Missouri right now about this uh, this kid uh, Michael Brown getting shot and killed. Uh, it was a whole racial deal at yeah, the beginning. Things are things are looking black out there. And then, it's real bad. Ugh. And then um, he, you know, video comes out that he robbed a store. Now he robbed the store of what? Was it a box? See, this is where the controversial comes into play. Everyone's saying he robbed a store. He's it was robbery. He and a friend went into a convenience store. From what I understand. One guy kept the guy busy behind the counter, and the other guy picked up a box of cigars. We've all been to a gas station or convenience store where they have, you know, the Swisher Sweets or what have you sitting on the counter. They sure tried to steal. A Philly Blunt? It probably was, given, this, given the... Great flavor. Let me, let me look at the story flavor. and see what it says. Great they went or red? to steal this oh, box of cigars. it was Swisher Sweets. It really yeah, was. There you go. There it you was go. Swisher Sweets. So they went to steal this no. box of Swisher Sweets, and that is being called robbery. I, mean, it's I don't know about you. Technically, I mean. technically, according to the definition of the word robbery, it's robbery. But when I think robbery, I think guys oh, coming into your cash. store with guns. They're going into a bank or they come into your house and steal your TV, tie you up in the bathroom and leave you there. I don't think of like <laughs> a, a kid. How old was he? 18. 18? An 18-year-old kid stealing cigars from a convenience store. Shoplifting robbery, technically by the definition of the terms, yes, it is. But I think if you or I or Justin got caught... Stealing cigars from a convenience store, the newspaper would probably, if it even reported it, right. 
would say shoplifting. Now here's the thing. Well, he he's as tall as me. Okay. He he's as tall as me. He's a hefty. He's a, he's a well fed. Six four, two ninety two. The big guy. That's like big seventy dude. pounds. Yeah, that's Doesn't big Doesn't excuse big. police brutality. I will definitely Absolutely. say first off, there was definitely a problem with police brutality. And as I was saying to homeboy earlier, was that. You're going out there every day. You're wearing a vest because somebody you're in a job somebody that somebody's going to kill, kill you. you. And unfortunately, Not statistics, going to. mathematics, wants to kill wait, you. mathematics say there are tons in Pasco County. There is a ton, a ton of white people committing crimes, whether it's adultery, doing horrible things to children, raping people, dildos stuck in your butt. We were talking about earlier. Sound like a white chick. Uh, you know what I'm saying? There's some horrible white people are horrible for sure. All right, but unfortunately, statistics show. In my, not in my opinion, statistics, math, if you look it up, is that most African-American people are in, in poverty, and in poverty, it forces you to do things that you don't want to do. This kid, Michael Brown, was a, already... He was a thug. Well, he's a thug. He's a criminal. Not because he was black, just because he had a rap sheet. But here's the problem. Did he deserve to be shot to death? That's How many times? Like 19 times? Right. On a, I don't know. Right. Me... Piggybacking on a story where the cops choked out some dude that was an asthmatic and they killed I'm him. I'm fine with choking someone out, but Wait not a killing minute. him. No, but they choked out this dude that was a fat, you know, asthmatic dude. They choked him out. He said he couldn't breathe. They were like, tough, oh, tough was that shit. In the, was that in the movie theater? No, no, no. Well, it was wherever it was. I think it was in New York or someplace in a bigger city. But my point is, is that there's definitely a police brutality thing going on. But I don't think it's raceless, race, uh, racially, no, it's rather. Trip. I don't think it's racially charged. I think that it's that times are getting really, really tough for people, especially in the poverty world. And you know what? They're doing crap that they can't do. You mentioned earlier that getting unemployment is not as easy as it not used easy. to be. And again, statistically proven, a lot of white people were on un unemployment, but there were a lot more African American or, or ethnic people that were on unemployment. And you know what? You can't just get free money anymore. No, you and can't. so times are tough, all right? I'm not condoning their behavior, nor am I condoning the cops' behavior, but in my opinion, if you're a cop, and people are acting a fool, whether it's an armed robbery or robbery or this. But if you're acting a fool and somebody called the police there, then you're there, there for a reason. And if you're acting a fool and trying to grab guns and tasers and, and acting a fool, which they had witnesses that said they did that, then you know what? Then you got shot. And as a police officer, you show up to the scene, you don't know what the hell's going on. Right. As far as you know, everyone has a gun. The so unfortunate thing about know. this scenario is that, yes, you can see it from both sides. You have an officer whose job is to... Go this places where like people that. want to kill him. <laughs> Stop crime. People want to kill him all the time. But you also have to realize that they have to have in the back of their head a discretion. Like, all crimes are not equal, and all crimes do not deserve the end result, you being dead. I'm sorry, but I don't care if you're a hardened criminal or if you have a rap sheet as long as anyone who's ever spent 100 years in prison. If you went to a convenience store and you stole something... The opposite of and you thick. don't... <laughs> If you have a rap sheet, the opposite of show's dick, which is, for those who don't know, really long, <laughs> the penalty for stealing something is not death, I especially if you're unarmed. You're right. Especially if you're unarmed. You're right. You, no one should die. But well, no, there's a lot of people out there that should die. Do you know what the consequences are, though, for you or any other person trying to attack a police officer? What are the consequences? But then? we don't know if that's what happened yet. Well, I'm just saying, what would be all the, the facts? If that did happen, what would be the if consequences? He the, if he attacked the, Todd, would attack you would officer? you attack a police officer? Absolutely not. Why not? Unless he was doing something illegal and going to kill me anyway. Well, Why listen, not? Because he's a cop and I'm a law-abiding citizen. Well, exactly a right. Say, a lot of cops say, you know, it's it's you know. I don't want to die tonight, and that's the choice that they make. It is the, the choice to live. So sometimes they do jump yeah. the gun, but they're fearing for their lives because they. But don't shooting know. someone 19 times doesn't that seem a bit harsh? Yeah. It seems mean, a bit harsh. He could have got stuck. And like I've always said, it, but, in my life, it's it easy. It's easy for people to sit on a couch with a microphone, drinking a beer, to say what they would do in that situation. That it was one cop who was so there. He had to reload. I would assume. 19 times he would have had to reload. I right. would assume. No, that's a little over. Wait, well, I don't well, want to be cops, a jerk. Cops uh, don't uh, have a restriction. The cop that shot him had facial size. injuries. How does that happen? What it's did they not punch? like me and you. Yeah, but Todd. it doesn't have an ex Most cops Seriously, don't have an guys, extended 9mm. Seriously, guys, look. The cop that shot him had facial injuries. His eye socket was broken. 
Uh, that sounds like not only resisting arrest, but that also sounds like you're trying to you're trying to mess somebody up. It and he's a does. police officer, and that dude they wear bulletproof vests. Why? Because there are unfortunately people out there that want to frigging kill you because they're and driving like on said, a DUI. I don't know the other all the facts of the matter. I don't know. Really? The I don't you know them. Arguing why it's okay, and you're mm. arguing. No, no. Basically, no. the point of what we're both saying is that it's easy to understand both sides. Spander. Right. It's, right. It's it's, it's, it's easy to see why a cop would shoot someone after attacking them. I am not about local or federal government taking over certain things. I'm not about police brutality, which does exist and exists unfortunately far too often. But in this particular case, okay, there were the, the facts. Like, like you, Todd said, we don't know all the facts, but the facts that we do know is this: is that there was a black guy. He's a criminal. Michael Brown, who had a prior rap sheet of being not an a law-abiding citizen, bigger than He's, four inches, right? He's clearly he's well endowed, as we all know, because he's black, which is Charles, who I guess started the show, could contest to. The gaff. The gaff. The gaff. Well, because they're gaffing whatever he's doing on a porno, because I, if I know anything about Charles, is that he's not that well There's anything you know endowed. about the gaff, but it's this. Anyways, exactly, <laughs> exactly right. But no, my, my point is, is, again, and we don't have to spend too much, way too much time on this, but is that facts are black guy, Missouri, cop, apparently stealing something, things got heated. Cop, get it, uh, his face was busted up, and in the process, this poor guy, Michael Brown, and his family have suffered a loss. He died, okay? He died because the cop shot him multiple times, all right? That sucks. It just sucks, right? But here's the other thing. Just like, 90, just like back in April, uh, whatever it was, in 1992, when the riots in L.A. happened, and the whole Sublime song and all that bullshit, which is the only reason oh, white people Rodney know King. what it is, the whole Rodney King thing, exactly right, and the Reginald Denny thing, they weren't rioting because of the verdict. They were rioting because shit sucked in L.A., mm -hmm. and they found a reason to get one up on, quote unquote, the man, and so they did. They robbed people in their own town that owned the, the people that they knew were their own liquor stores that prior stupid. to, they were like, hey, what's up, so man, stupid. what's up? They knew them all, and they just robbed stuff. So stupid. So my point is, is that poverty makes people do crazy, crazy things. This guy got shot because he, you know, he apparently beat this cop up, and the cop, were they excessive? Maybe, but whatever. But I think that's what's making it such a hot issue, is that it seems like, more often you're reading in the newspaper and seeing on the news people getting killed by cops in scenarios where you see it, you read about it, or you see a video of it, and you're just like, why did it end in that guy getting shot to death? Like, it, it doesn't, I'm not saying that fits yeah, this wait, particular just, story, like, but we've that. all seen the videos online of a guy like standing in the street with a knife, and there's like 32 cops around him. That and how does video. that story end? <laughs> Dude Horrible. has like 900 well, bullets. What's your question? Like, Go ahead. Um, you were saying poverty makes people do crazy things, but and I get that. It's poverty and anger. At all, but not for this part. Not for this particular situation. I don't get it for this situation, mm. because I. I well, don't think that you have to understand that this situation isn't squishers. just that six-hour period of time. Mm. The situation is him living in Fer Ferguson. Is it Ferguson, Missouri? Ferguson. Ferguson? Yeah. Ferguson? A city that's known for like racial issues, like they've they've been dealing with this problem for a long, long precedent. time. There's a precedent set. You're black. You live in the poor part of town. You're just treated like absolute shit by the authorities. I mean, that's well, it it's, still doesn't it's, force you to have a rap sheet. No, that's you're either. right. You're right. And that's yeah, but I but what I'm saying is that the reason that what he's saying applies to this issue is because it's not just that one day. Like anything that happens. Well, it's, it's this it's one kid that is... Yeah, but that whole kid grew up there. You, you have his whole life, his whole... Everything that's happened up to that point that, that counts towards. It's not like he just woke up one morning and says, well, I'm going to go steal some cigars. Maybe I'm only... I'm and it's not like that cop woke up one on that morning and said, I'm going to go murder a black kid. Yeah, yeah but maybe I'm just focusing too much on the particular situation instead of right. looking at the entire thing and going deeper into it. Which is what it is. Stole the Swishers. Maybe. And the cop. Allegedly. No, the, the friend who was with him admitted that they stole yeah, they, It's on it. video. Right. It doesn't matter if they admit it or not. And it's then the cop shot him. That's what the situation is because this kid stole it. So I know everything right. else is going on and other things are going right. on, but the cop didn't have to shoot him. Yeah, but you don't know that. There isn't video. There isn't it. video of where they were when they were shot. He didn't get shot in the convenience store. So then why did he get shot? 
We don't know. It's not done yet. So the cop could have just All shot the facts him for no reason? Could have. No, no, no. no. He absolutely yeah, could have. Could have. Could have but the story's not done yet. We don't know everything. that actually show, like, the direction that the bullet should have hit and the way the body was contorted was right. the back was to the officer who shot him. And some of them were either hands up or in, like, a situation where... Seemingly a defensive posture. Right. If you've ever seen Dexter, they can pretty much figure that out. Yeah, now. you're not going to exactly kill someone happened, and you're not going to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, anything is possible. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, are we ready to do this quiz? Uh, honestly, though... Oh, are we done with this? Hold on. <laughs> being, oh, I being guess a, we're not done with this. Being a wrestling fan, you know that just because you have wounds in your back doesn't mean anything. It could have been a moonsault. That didn't work oh, all the way. It wow. could have been a frog, a reverse frog splash that he was going for on the officer. RVD. Could, RVD. Yeah, you could but have been. Probably not. Frogably um, not. In his back. Frogably not. <laughs> if they were in his back, um, that would mean that he was assaulted first. Well, you don't know that. So if someone's right. shooting figure it out. at you, especially Here's all I'm in saying. this ghetto area like right. you were saying it is, right. if he turned back in defense, then he has all the right to. Absolutely it's right. It's different state to state. Absolutely right. So how do you explain the, the guy's broken eye, eye socket? Well, he fell over when he was he, shooting him. He, yeah, he's <laughs> shooting. <laughs> Alleged, yeah. He shot him in the gun, hit back in his eye. All right, all right so what we're going to do moving on. All right, so we're going to have on. to pass the Wasn't there something else, though? We I have think have there's other quiz stuff. We have a surprise quiz. Oh, okay. Yeah, a surprise quiz. Top quiz, assholes. Yeah. Justin, pass her the mic. Okay. Grimace, pass Justin the mic. All right. You guys, Mike in the we'll middle, share. It'll be a lot easier here. Yeah, I can't we'll share a mic with her. Yeah, we'll share a mic. In the middle with this guy, according to the last quiz. I, well, well, you're not going to be the only one. Yeah, but well, no. Here's the, the, the thing. thing. You gotta be I can't share a mic with her because she's reading. She's a reader. You got to be circumstantial with your mic. See, look, you got to hover like this. It's like you could. I could sneak. You could sneak a kiss in like this. Okay, what about if I use? Come here. I can use the same mic as you. And when you say the right answer, you have something right, to say, you can right. give I mean, it to I, you? I think, I think we're good where we're at. I was just okay. like space good. If, All right. if it doesn't work, five questions in, we'll change it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. so, so this quiz. Have nothing in five this questions. We're changing it. This yeah. is <laughs> middle school general knowledge. Middle school, uh, middle right. school general knowledge. Yeah. I just want you all to know it's this is going to be funny and embarrassing. It's for, for math, history, or science. I was told no, there would fantastic. be no math. Can we choose? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, you choose the category. So the first question, I mean, they're very simple. Uh, okay, well, well, for, for, well, for Justin, who hasn't played before, um, <laughs> shout out the answer. All right, so yeah, what you do is just... Shout out the answer when you know it. No, no, no. We should and you be a judge over there, Fee. No, 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 no. No, 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 the answer. That yeah, doesn't work. We've that. tried Fee. that. For you have the headphones. Thing. Listen to who you hear yeah, first. Yeah, You're yeah, the yeah. judge. If we're in a little tiebreaker, please go ahead. And trust me, we'll have them. Okay. Children, the first question is AX plus BY equals C. Pythagorean theorem. Wrong, way wrong. <laughs> can can, can we get a restate you're of the out, question, you're please? You're out, so you're not allowed to answer. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Pride can't answer. The mic now. Okay. Try That's again. a squared plus b squared, by the way. Right, go ahead. Right. Um, a x plus b y equals c is what? You know what it is. A x plus b y equals c. Not gonna work here. <laughs> 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 what do it look like? I'm Asian. How would I know that? I, I don't know. Can the I answer. get it? I don't know the answer to that either. What is it? I mean, just it's go a ahead. type of equation. Oh, it yeah. is a type is of it equation. A, is it an algorithm? Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, so it's a linear, a linear equation. Oh, linear yeah, equation. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Stop. Okay. You so. Yeah. All right. Next question. Algebra one's next coming question. back. There's two different types. Either kind of so cell reproduction. Nobody. 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 Sorry. Nobody. Either kind of cell reproduction. Is this the question? Uh, is that? Yes. That's what is the name of cell re? There. What is the name of mitosis. either kind of cell reproduction? Mitosis. Osmosis. Yes. M mitosis. Mitosis or meiosis. That's one for McBride. Meiosis. Yeah. Oh, Todd was close. smart. He's a dick, but he's so smart. He has the mic. That's the He's really smart. Okay, so. I didn't know that. <laughs> Whatever. You, you were going to say that, right? All right, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Civilization located in the Fertile Crescent. Mayans. Egypt. Africans. Ethiopian Crescent. You can't guess anymore. You're so wrong. So he said Mayans. Keep going. I was wrong. Close-ish. Don't, don't kiss. Israelites. Kids. No. The Fertile Crescent. This is killing me. I could have sworn the Fertile Crescent was over in the fucking Middle East. Don't you dare Google shit. No, he can't. No. Mesopotamian. Yes. Bitch! Dude, Tom, you're <laughs> so damn smart. It's a shame right. he's wasting at Walmart. No. <laughs> I don't work there anymore. Don't keep that in mind. Shame you're wasting what? doing nothing. Being unemployed. <laughs> Think <laughs> math. Thinking okay. math. What is it? What does it represent when you have an X between two straight lines? Ver 
What? No, so you have an X and it has. Oh, multiplication. Multiply. No. X between two That's parentheses. Uh, between X two, between lines? two straight yes. lines? It's a factor oh. of some sort? I, I'm pretty sure I said Fraction. the answer first. It's a root. What did you say first? I said it's fine. It's fine. I, I give something wrong. You I said multiplication. No, it's not a root. It. Division? No, it's not a root, and it, that would be division. Got an answer there, Grimace. Can we get some Grimace? like celebrity pop culture it's a variable. quiz or something? No, it's not. Okay, but what's X the is a variable. It's an absolute value. Yeah, absolute value. Right. This is absolute uh, bullshit. Okay. Next question. God, you this quiz is absolute bullshit. Absolute horse. Yeah. <laughs> and name any biological system. Inglutimentary. What? It's the skin, the agglutimentary system. Any biological system? I have system? never heard of that in my life. The human biological system? Yeah, I mean, that's the answer. Uh, that's I've never, the skin? Anything. That's not, is that a biological system? Like your digestive it's system? It's your largest, yeah. it's, you know Epidermis? what the largest, here you go, yeah, bonus question. That's fine. Go ahead. What's Whatever. the largest organ in the Epidem human body? Epidermis. It's the skin. It's the skin. There you got it. That's Epidermis. the agglutimentary system. Yeah. Avid Still listeners, if you guys want to want to challenge that, feel free to subscribe and post on the message board. He gets half a point for being an. Or asshole. you can text me at seven two seven seven two nine two six six one. That's his real phone answer. number. That's his Call real phone back number. soon. Celebrity, Jeff all right. Party. Leader of. Especially if you're single, and a lady. <laughs> so the leader of the Continental Army in American Revolution. George Washington. That one to McBride. Washington. No, I said Washington. It you didn't Six say feet. It. I did. I said did it's you so whisper quiet. it? No, 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 no. So he had like 30 you dicks. Whispered it? Oh, yeah, I whispered it. Are you almost done? Because the last quiz didn't go so well. You guys are almost done. done. That's what I'm saying. All right, guys. When do I get the fuck okay, so the second step in the order of operations. Inside. No, it's not foil. What do you think? <laughs> foil? <laughs> We're just talking about foil. First inside, inside, outside, last. No, the order of operations. You don't remember writing it out, uh, so you know the order at which to solve a problem. Oh. Well, the operations of what? Like, if it's the, the operations order to clean your fridge, do you usually like, take multiple. everything out of the fridge In a, in a mathematical no, problem, multiply. what do you do okay. second? Oh, math? Oh, I will give you a hit. Right. Who's left? No, he is already wrong. Worst. You're out. Okay, so it's I'm you out. two left. I don't Joyce. Shit. Look, what am I, Asian? I don't, I don't Justin, know any of these. Are you, okay, it's PEMDAS, guys. What's no. the second step? Pimp, pimp claws. Whatever. Evaluate? Yeah. It's close. I don't know, man. This no, is it's an exponent. Exponent. You solved the exponent second. You know, I feel bad for all these are you smarter than a hooter I was trying to cheat for you over there, Justin. I every one of those answers. Yeah, and then like, what color is like purple? Yeah, those are easy. These are ones that I know. Like, come on. I'm glad you Because you're looking at the answers. Yeah, that's true. PEMDAS isn't listed on here. All right, what is the answer? When I give you, I heard Exponent. Exponent. All right, good. Next. Jesus. You give me what some is the answer? Or Michael Jackson trivia, and I will school you. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Any subatomic particle. Atom. Anyone. Electron. Electron. Yes. Proton. Neutron. Oh, didn't McBride. Atom first. I was thinking Adam in my head. He out loud. said, "Eh." Uh, can, can I sorry, get electron? Uh, uh, but, Jesus. But then I immediately said neutron. <laughs> yeah, just give it to Justin. Boom, Justin's <laughs> on the board. Good job, bro. J Bones got one. Who is considered the father of the U.S. Constitution? Thomas oh, Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. No. That's Benjamin Franklin. No. Son of a bitch. You guys no, done? No, that wasn't him either. <laughs> you guys done? Who is it, McBride? Oh, you you guys done? Yeah. I want the judge to get in on this. Who is it? I don't know. I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. <laughs> father of the Constitution. I don't know. John James Adams? Adams? No, it's Madison. I really don't know. Madison? Bill Madison. Clinton. No. What? It's Bill Clinton. It's James Madison. Yeah. Really? Are I you sure? Oh, perfect. You sure? He's talking about Madison County. God, talk about irony. I'm so, I don't even know where that county. goes. We don't even know who I don't think anyone it. got that. I'm just going to say no to right. everyone. Jefferson wrong. It was Madison. Day. Okay. Four times no, ten no. to the sixth power is an example of what? A major equation. math problem. I got that. It's an equation. What the hell? No. I don't think that's the right answer. That's not it. How's that not an equation? It's a certain type of oh. notation. Exponential. No. I was going to say exponential. I mean, it but is no, an I'm exponential. Yeah, it is. It also is an equation, assholes. It's not an equation. I, I don't know the answer Bullshit. if it's not exponential. Are you done, Justin? I have nothing. I got nothing. It's <laughs> scientific, scientific notation. notation. Yeah, Please, guys, yeah. I'm dead. Why are we even culture. doing this? Yeah, dude, hit me with something like, yo, what? Yeah, <laughs> what is your favorite color? Right now? Can we not do movies? Uh, Chris Owens. Again? Like, yeah. 
Oh, wait, yeah. am I, am I going to oh, go choose do another movies one again? right now? Or you want to do want movies again? Nah, finish it. Jesus Christ. I'm not smart. We finish Choose another one real quick. We finish things. No, we finish things here. No, no, no. You won. I get it. Is there a smarter first grader? All right, real quick. Let's just, well, hold on. Oh, yeah. get it. All right, I'm only asking like 10 of these questions from this, all right? Real quick, though. I just want to give that that math. The math conclusion is McBride got four, Liege got yeah, nothing, Grimace got nothing, Justin got one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And on to the next Any one. man's game. So this is a really new right. quiz. Okay. Shine. It's shine just right general basic knowledge. Got okay. It. So new four. new points. New points. Okay. So Are you ready? New points. Yeah. New I'm points. only We're asking all, 10 to 15 of these questions. I'm going to bed. Important. All right. In which city was the Olympics first held? Athens. Greece. Yeah. McBride. Shit. Greece was close if this we were considering country. country. City, though. I heard country. <laughs> All right. Who thought up evolution? Charles oh, Darwin. Damn. Oh, Marx. McBride. Marxist. Darwin's theory. Son of a I know, man. It's a good thing we picked a new quiz. The longest oh river God. in the world is the Nile. Amazon. Amazon. Justin. Amazon. Do you agree on that? Yeah. That's true. Definitely. The Amazon's the biggest, not the longest. Got you got it. Boom. Mount Vesuvius is located where? Italy. Justin. Wow. In the face. It's because he's a dirty wop. That's all. Fuck so this oh, is you mother. <laughs> Who? <laughs> my, whatever. Who won the Football World Cup in 2010? France. No. Germany. No. This is a soccer. In 10? Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. We watched it. We watched yeah, it. Yeah, we, we just that watched it, but I, that, that, that was 14. That, that was 14. Brazil. We watched it in West Shore, though. Uh, in 10. Did we watch it? Yeah, we did. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna so upset go right with now. With no, it was fucking Spain. All right, I'll go with Spain. Yeah, yeah so that's Spain. Uh, woo, Liege gets no, I'm so pissed at myself. Lee, I'm gonna give you that. Nobody, that's why hey, I did it. Likes the, nobody likes the solo, right? Was it really Spain? Yeah, it was definitely Spain. Wow. And okay, they were one of the first teams eliminated from this yeah, World Cup. <laughs> Who was the first president of the USA? George Washington. Washington. You hesitated so long on that. Yeah, I did. Justin. Justin. Oh it's actually si it's actually not true. There it's was an interim true, yeah, president was before Washington. His name was Bill okay. Man stuff. <laughs> New York is also known as Yankee. the Big, the Big Apple. Apple. New Amsterdam. Justin. You did I'm finish before me. See, I told you general knowledge. New York is also known as geography. As what? The state I'm from. Big That's Apple, the like true this. answer. He you just tell said that. that. Are you, uh, it was originally called <laughs> New asked, Amsterdam. My fault. He asked me uh, what it was stupid. after was it was stupid. already said. Yeah. All right. He's like, known as what? New Amsterdam. Amsterdam. I just, it was just All right. said. Yeah, All right. It, originally it says is known as, not was. The principal export of Jamaica is what? Coffee beans. Black people. <laughs> Marijuana. <laughs> no to all of those. It's bananas. Not coffee? No. Sugar cane? Yes. Oh, good good for you, man. I re, I re. Oh, I'm thinking and of rum somebody's here. Somebody's on the board. I think I was oh, right too, though. actually. Yeah, that is too. The, the last too. judgment was painted by which Italian painter? Raphael. What did you say? Leonardo da Vinci. No, no. Well, Come like on, just name left. the TMNT. There's only yeah, two no, left. Seriously? Yeah. There's two more. <laughs> two the left. Really, the one who really likes pizza. <laughs> it's Donatello. Nice. It there you go. It. Michelangelo. It. That's Fat Man with Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> on the board. All right. Oh, geez. All right. Follow me, guys. Have your brains turned on. All right. They're on. What is one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven plus eight plus nine Plus 19. I'm just shutting this thing off here. Okay. Divided by 4. There's no way. 19 divided by 4? Yeah, 25. It's much worse than that. No. No, it's 1, one plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 19 divided by 4. <laughs> That's my final answer. Can I phone a friend? 19? No. No, no, no. It's going to be in the... 22. No. 137. No, it's 16. What a stupid question. Was close. <laughs> How is that general knowledge? Is it because there's 16 numbers in that? Because we're generally thing? retarded. There That's isn't. Why. Which dance is associated with Brazil? Oh, the cumbia. No. Rio. No. Mm. Isn't that a cheese? Salsa? Capoeira. No, no. Zumba? No, that's a workout. And Zumba? A dance. And it's very, and it's, it's a seductive it's, dance it's, if you do it. It's the right. Shakita banana dance. Okay, whatever, it's whatever Shakira does. <laughs> it's the samba. 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 Yeah. You already said Shakita banana. That's the samba. 
<laughs> no, sorry, you lose. You those. don't get that. You lose. Wah, 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 what whatever. is the national flower of Italy? Oh wow, the uh, the flower of Italy. Yeah. What's my favorite flower? Night blooming jasmine. Get this wrong. Do it. Yeah, that's kind of cheating. Is it night blooming jasmine? He's not gonna get it. I mean, come on, he won't seriously? get it anyway. You know the favorite flower, but you don't is it the national? Yeah. Wow, do you really not know? Oh, it's no. the uh, the uh, the Mussolini. The Mussolini. That's it. Oh my god. Yeah. Tell me you can't get this, please. Her favorite I'm flower. Say Lily. I don't know. You would say He's it. right. So I am really? so wow, disappointed in you. Are you kidding me? You know, my are you kidding? The They're instrument. all up my back. Are you serious? Because yeah, when I think same. Italy, I think all Lily. Oh my Italy. gosh! I know what a I rose can't is. even right now. Of course you so would. So this, I can't even. Every right rose now. has a thorn, Chris. Oh. Yeah. Michael's guy. Yeah. Uh, you got it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. My fiance, who I gave the answer to, did not get it. Moving along. He didn't give the answer. Yeah, but this is like this is That's like a Howard. It's interesting because she's not going to be giving you anything for a while. She this gave you the answer by saying, "What is my favorite flower?" And yeah, you couldn't get yeah, it. Yeah, but this is like a Howard Hughes flick where like the fiance doesn't know it, but the best friend knows it. Like, are you? Is this I, a I've ducky met, situation? This is well, the second time I've met her. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. Is it like a ducky? It's just really <laughs> sad. But continuing, um, which That's country good. is James Joyce the novelist from? England. No. Ireland. London. Yes, Ireland. That's an easy one. I can't believe that. You can get something right. What is the largest island in the world? Uh, Island? Yes. Australia. No. And no. The largest island in the world? Australia. Greenland? God damn it. Is it Greenland? It's Greenland. Yeah, thank you. Last question. I'm not going to lie. I waited for all you guys to answer to make sure I was not right. Because <laughs> I was going to say Hawaii. Hawaii. No, Hawaii. <laughs> no, no one said that. All right. The last one is the first industrial revolution took place where? Pittsburgh. France. No, no. Industrial re- revolution. Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. I'm just laughing because you guys are. I was thinking uh, Steel City here. Yeah. You see where I'm going yeah, with that? The first, first one. Industrial revolution took place place in detroit earth detroit the <laughs> only yeah, answer that's worse than pittsburgh <laughs> ask it again <laughs> ask it again okay um what is where was the first industrial revolution you said detroit Just keep in America. mind we're this talking detroit, like the Michigan. fifth 1600s <laughs> so specific too, Detroit, so, Michigan. So Detroit and what was it pittsburgh, detroit and pittsburgh are out. not the okay, answers they're out let's see and what did you say centuries. france france you say France? France? Yeah, France. Just, I, I'm getting his very Just throw a country Germany. out there. Just say throw out a country. No, know. it's yeah. England. Yeah, that was close. No, you weren't. All right, so what are the final uh, <laughs> scores? We here? might have a tie. All right, Felicia, can we get the, sco- uh, the total scores here? Um, yes, it is McBride with two, Liege with two. Was it Grimsey? Grimace. Grimace? Grimsey? <laughs> Grim. Grim with two and Justin with five. Wow! Wow! It's the first time we had a newcomer nice. win. Yep, that's brutal. That's yep. impressive. Wow. That's brutal. Consider yeah, yourself good. special. I had it feels my last Oh my gosh, score. they have basic Harry Potter knowledge on here. Good. Oh, drop me on it if you Let's want to do, do a bonus it. round. Right, so, uh, I challenge you guys to a bonus round? round of my choosing quiz wise. Is that something we're allowed? Is to it do? Harry Enjoy Potter that? general knowledge? I'll let oh, you hey, pick. after show, after show. After we'll do show. that after okay. show. All right, so uh, we'll upload the bonus test. So we'll. Uh, so we're gonna end it. You got you got something going on. Going to bed. Oh, and we couldn't it. possibly do the show without her. Yeah. Oh. Um, Air Cav would disagree. Oh, who would make yeah, your drinks? Air Cav would yeah, who would disagree. make your drinks and dinner and wait for you and pick you yeah, up? Yeah, who would make you dinner down. and make you drinks without yeah. a thank you? Who would do yeah. that? Who would uh, I don't your, know. Who I mean, I guess now hair? I could just pause the show. I, well, can, really, we need to do a little uh, mechanics 101 here shortly. Yeah, we do. Um, but but no, so we have to end with uh, Justin being here in the band Painted yeah. Town. Thanks for coming. Talk about the band. Hey, no, it was Good a, show. It was a wonderful time. What and you got you have something going on, right? Four hours doing something more exciting. Ever not except really masturbating. Well, yeah. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Oh. Three and a half hours. Yeah. Okay, so I'll say three and a half hours. Uh, but no, no. What's going on? We got a show uh, coming up, right? Real quick, is that uh, Paint the Town Red is a real 
is a real band. We're a uh, real deal. More importantly, uh, this Saturday we're doing. Um, I don't know how many, how many listeners you guys even have. Like just avid uh, listeners. Mostly like si- the six of us. Yeah. Mm. Seven millions. No, there's more than that. I mean, people listen, but they don't subscribe, which I don't understand. Yeah, I don't get Why that not either. subscribe? It's, it's just effort. It's, it's too much effort for it. It's too much effort. And, Anyways, so yeah, so whatever. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited uh, to be here. I'm really excited. I brought my girlfriend this time around because you know she's always a joy. And um, that sounded very <laughs> sarcastic. Hostilities <laughs> brewing. We're playing a show this Saturday. It's actually for a really really great cause. Um, it's called uh, Laundry Project, and what these guys do is actually really really great. Uh, this guy Jason oh, Sowell. Yeah. I've talked about this, this on we the were show. About yeah, doing? he's the yeah. raddest dude I've ever met. So he, he, it's a Christian organization. But with this dude, I think what's really powerful about this guy is that uh, where where most Christian most churches send people to like Madagascar, where the f they're hang- sending them to. This guy actually was like on the way. His story is like on the way to the airport. He saw people in his own hometown like struggling. So he turned around and started this thing called Laundry Project. And they literally, and, and I've, I volunteer for a couple now, and, and my brother Jay has volunteered for a couple too. And uh, I think Jay's actually on the board or something mm-hmm. like that. But you, they go into these towns with like $500 worth a quarter and a whole bunch of laundry detergent and just put up a sign that says free laundry. And they never mention God, but it's all in the name of God or just in the name of love, not even in God. They're just doing you know, it to help like people out. Help That's all it is. Help people out with the most basic need that they need. So it's really, really cool. So, um, so – so they, go, they go to random places? or They just go to, like, town? laundromats no, no, no. throughout a town. We just did one in South St. Pete, which was rough. We did one in Dunedin. It's usually I mean, in a Tampa did, Bay area. And they're going oh, – no, no, but they're going on around the country now with the, the laundry project. So it's actually really cool. So anyways, uh, Jason Sowell and his Tampa Bay-based uh, laundry project got robbed. Their closet got broken into, and Fantastic. a lot of this stuff sucks. I, you know, Speaking I of people who should die. It's Remember how we horrible. said no one should die? Happens. That's Life happens to everybody. So they got robbed and a lot of stuff stolen. So this show is actually a benefit. Like, none of the bands get paid. It's a minimum $5 donation to get in. Where is um, it? It's in uh, St. Pete at the Hideaway Cafe off of Central and 17th Avenue. Which we were actually just by. We went to the mm-hmm. Rays game yeah, and I saw the Hideaway. Yeah, it's next to the Very, Berg. very, yeah, very yeah. cool part it's of town. It's a really small, really cool place. It's actually a recording studio, but um, the, I used to actually work there. I used to bartend down there uh, when I first moved to St. Pete. But anyways, long story, boring story short. Uh, if you show up there, uh, it's a minimum $5 donation. If you donate more, you get, like, a free T-shirt or whatever. And all the money goes just back into that. And for me, it's kind of like, you know, we've been playing for a while. I've been a musician in this town for a while. And I, I have a, I'm thankful that I have a good job. And uh, things are going well. And, like, I, I don't really necessarily You're off. Need, uh, Mike's off. Mike's off. So, all right. And she turned the mic off. And, um, and we're back. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just it's a good way to give back and um, do something that I love that's for uh, not for myself, and so I'm pumped about it. So this Saturday, yeah, it's five dollars. It starts at seven. So uh, if you feel like coming out, and we're playing till like ten thirty. There's a couple of acts: Matt Haley, uh, Camille Dupree. Uh, we got a guy named H- Caleb Hires, and then Jason, the owner of the company, will be there as well, and he's going to kind of talk did, about when it. When did they get robbed? Uh, about a, about a month and a half ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and they've done. They've still been doing them since, which is really, really great. It's even though you, you, it's that just funny means about that people, those dudes have been putting their own money in. Yeah, exactly that. right. Well, exactly like right. Well, no, and they've had a lot of help cool too. And they stole all the meat and freezers and shit that right. they were given to needy people. I mean, right. It just makes that? no sense. Well, because these people are just That's dumb, people. man. Yeah. Well, they said that they would give it's them dumb. the food if they needed it. I mean, it just, it just, right. it's just pisses right. me off. Well, it's people just people work. are dumb. And usually what I found in my own personal experience, and I don't know what, maybe this means something to you, maybe it doesn't, but it's like, it, usually if you're up to something good, if you're doing the right thing, the shit it gets heads are really gonna, hard. Yeah, the shitheads yeah. are going to focus. It's on really you. hard to do the right thing. It's almost like you're being tested. You, it, well, whatever it how, could be, whatever how, you want. But doing the right thing is really, really tough. For example, like you're in the store and somebody gives you the wrong change and it's in your benefit. Do you give the change back? It's, it's a like fiasco if you try to. Right. You it is. Look at like, it. Is no, it a no, big no. corporation or right. is it a mom and pop? But you That's saying I don't know how to count? Well, the question, it's like that. I don't know if you guys ever heard this as kids when it's like, yo, if you found a suitcase with a million dollars in it, spend it 10000 at a time. <laughs> right. Or do you turn the money in? That's a 30-year-old answer. <laughs> yeah, no, where, okay, where do you find the suitcase? You find it on the side of the road. You, you walk into a gas station, and as you get out of your car, there's a suitcase laying there or a uh, wallet. Let's just there. say a wallet. Samsonite. Not a suitcase. Samsonite. Say a wallet. That was way off. Yeah, it's a wallet. It's filled. You open it up, and there's $10,000 cash in the wallet what you, with an ID and everything in well, it. You return. No, a wallet you return. You do return, but, yeah, but if it was a suitcase, suitcase not cash, so much, right? And That's, you ran an asshole pro- could be like, it's my million dollars. Well, I found it, dickhead. 
Right. Most people There's wouldn't no return it. Identify. Right. And that's so, the but the idea is, is that you should usually just turn the money in because it's not yours. It's Either way, whoever's it is, it's not yours. Right. Because I bet you, if you lost your wallet, you'd want some. Point being, point being is, is that. Here are some people that are doing some really good things for people that they don't know, they've never talked to. And honestly, to in my experience in going there, some people appreciate it, but most people don't. They're just, oh, free laundry? Great. But it's not about them. It's about you. It's, it's, you're the difference, I think, in every day when you get out of your car. Well, no, you it's not even about that. It's even if they don't like appreciate that. it, you're still helping them. You're still right. making it's a difference Right, it's about you. It's life. about what you're doing. Yeah. And so... I don't know. I love this company, and so so by doing it, it's like you know, I, music's my thing. And I'm sorry, am I boring you? Are you bored? No. Okay. No. I don't know. You just seem really bored. He's All not right. talking to you, listeners. So he's, anyways, he's talking yeah. to someone else. All right. So anyways, he's talking to Fee. Um, we'll be there. Yeah, I just think that like yeah, do something for somebody else. You know, I think this is the idea, and that's what they're doing. They're doing a really great job at it, and uh, I'm down to support it. So that's pretty much it. So where where do you find the website for your band? So if you go to PTTR Music, I posted it on our site. We, so we, we, we put your Twitter I, on our yeah, Facebook yeah. page. I tried to find it. Yeah. I did on it on Facebook with the whole thing. Sorry, right? right. Yeah. yeah, check out Facebook's last week's really post. It's yeah, on but there. if you go to PTTRMusic.com, you'll find it. All and the then more, okay. more importantly, if you go to EngageCurrent.org, that's the organization. That's the organization. That's the most important thing. My band, who gives a crap? Like really, don't care. Nobody. But the biggest thing is like EngageCurrent.org. Give that, yeah, I know nobody cares. It's fine. <laughs> I'm fine with no, but I've embraced that. I remember that. you being in a band. Yeah, yeah, not many right? people do. Just That's yeah. Going down. Just you were in the what band? You're the one person who remembers. Yeah, being in a band that, that band? went nowhere. Uh, no, was what was that? September engagement. Then we There's changed our name Depeche to Normandy. Mode. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> what was the last one? Uh, Normandy, Normandy was actually really good. I remember Normandy. Normandy was actually good. Yeah, three song demo on. You had that one song. We were good for about six months. That was it. And Todd wasn't part of the original recordings. though. he didn't record that one. He joined the band and I was too cool for school. Apparently, wow. that's Did one way to say. I was so good, the yeah. band broke up uh, afterwards. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're like, we can't be in a band. But anyways, okay. So all right, so we'll, we might stop by for the show if you're not doing anything. Yeah, come out, dude. Like I said, yeah. I'm working at the beach. There's no way that it's I'm a go. minimum no. five dollar donation. Starts at seven. You can make it. What beach? Clearwater Beach. I'm working at the yeah. Clearwater Beach store. Till when? What do you do? I don't even know what you do. Uh, manager of Hooters. He's a Hooters guy. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I should pass this over to her because she used to work at Hooters. Oh, you which, should be here for one of one? our Are You Smarter Than a Hooters Girl quizzes. Oh, you should. You destroy yeah. Him. No, I used to do that on Tuesday nights, and I used to host that. I was the hostess for it on every Tuesday for the whole restaurant. But it was in Troy, Michigan, and coincidentally, it was Big Beaver Road on Exit 69. Oh, my God. It was a God. huge thing. Michigan. Big Beaver uh, Road. Michigan, it was the first one 69. when we just started getting the liquor license when Colby, who owned it at the time, was the one um, doing it all. And we only had soda at the time. I say pop because I'm from Michigan. But um, it was really rad. There's a fireplace in the middle. Um, very busy. It's the biggest store in Michigan. Um, and it was a good time. The best times I spent was 18 till 20 years old working at Hooters. Yeah, well, you were which a f- we, which you we were used to have a fireplace, but yeah, yeah I mean, doesn't really get thing. much it's use in gone Florida, gone. right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's pointless. Right. Now. Yeah, but uh, we're we're one of the only stores in the country, I, I think, from what I was told, the only store that you actually have direct boat access up to the store. Yeah, you have a cool. dock. People yeah, come up to the shop. Yeah, it's like really awesome. the John's boat. Pass one. Um, you can actually pull up, but. There's all the businesses boat, so and it's on the third floor. You it's the new one that was just built, right? Not the original Clearwater one, but the it's the, the same new one ownership. they just built. It's okay, the same yeah. ownership. Uh, the Clearwater one's still there, but the Clearwater Beach one is the one that I'm working at. Sweet, it's so been everybody there for about a year and so a half. So check you out. Now. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Good for you. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, well, big thing is what we're doing on Sunday night. We're, we're doing our first show yep. outside of the... This Sunday, we're awesome. going to do a, a live event. Cool. Is it just going to be you and McBride? It is. Uh, you're Beautiful. more than welcome to come. We're yeah, doing the uh, Deadly show Rival. The show the love. Deadly Rival Roller Derby. We're going to be playing. We're going to be live Roller at um, Astro Skate in St. Pete. Uh, Pinellas we'll Park. Pinellas Park. Leeds, you Pete, need whatever. to ride. We're, uh, we'll post some dun, more stuff dun, on the dun, site, dun. but if, yeah, you, I might if, need to ride. if you check out our page, you'll see that Deadly Rival has posted the, the poster for it and has the dates and everything. Again, what it's is the, the date? It's the 24th. I think it starts at 7. Is it, it seven starts or at eight? eight. It starts, starts at eight. eight. All right. Well, we'll be there at probably like six or seven. You yeah, we'll feel be free there to early. come early. It's um, what is it's it? Twelve dollars to get into the door. Ten dollars in advance. If you wanted to get advanced tickets, of course you can come up to. Uh, I think if you the poor Richie Hooters. If you I know us, you can there. get in for ten bucks. I'm yeah, we make an appearance. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe. 
right. see some uh, some girls throwing elbows. I'm no, it's, 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 it's actually pretty intense. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it, I've, I've always wanted. I, I mean, I've seen it on TV a few times, but I've always wanted to see it live. It's so, uh, it's it, pretty it intense. Okay. It's not a bank track like you see on yeah, TV you told a lot. Me that it's, it's, it's a flat a, one. It's but flat that's track. fine. They fly just as far. I mean, I'm <laughs> they sure. do. It'll be a good time. It'll be a good they time. Do. We're it not gonna. We're not doing a, a play by play, but I'm I'm sure we're gonna be watching and 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 giving you some updates when when bitches go down and lose some teeth. Yeah, it's, no, we're it's gonna, gonna have, be a good time. We're gonna have a roster. Oh yeah. In front of us, it's we're gonna, gonna be have good. names. We're gonna have all that type stuff. So. Sweet. Uh, do, they, do they go by their legitimate names? Or no, they it's oh, they all no, have nicknames. No, like well, uh, last Black week we, last week we had Black, Black Silk. I understand that, but and I her her number is nine. No, they all inch. have like righteous names. Oh, they like okay, make okay. something okay. out like her uh, gotcha. Black Silk was on her 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 number is nineteen inch, and that's the inches that she is around. Yeah, she's a corset. She was a corset. She's a corset chick, and she was actually on Tosh Point Oh. Uh, his nice. Season, his season finale, that. she was yeah. on Tosh Point. Yeah, Tosh Point Oh. So it was pretty good. Um... All right, so until Sunday night. Yeah, Sunday, come on down. Uh, be more than happy to hang out with you. We'll have some beers. We'll talk some stuff. And you'll have a chance to meet yeah, your heroes, McBride and Joyce. Yeah, yeah <laughs> heroes. We're actually probably going to have to bring drinks with us on the down yeah, We'll bring them. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think it's, uh, so it's secretly a bring your own beer deal. Secretly oh, we're going to take a break. Yeah. Just bring your water we'll bottle, yeah, bring a.k.a. Your water. Yeah, vodka wink, bottle. Wink. Yeah, wink, Slash wink. Pepsi nice. bottles. Everything, yeah, everything will...